Welcome to the channel and welcome to this 3000 point match play game. It's a big one between Space Marines and Orcs. So today on the channel we come to this um, world where an orc war is raging across the system and uh, the war boss is off doing what war bosses do, slaughtering and having a jolly good time. And there's an orc encampment here. And so the Space Marines previously landed in this encampment and have cleared it out. Um, the reason why I'm saying the Space Marines have already cleared the encampment out is because we're playing this Vanguard strike deployment and I've rolled up and I've got this bit down here where all these orc buildings are. So the Space Marines have already been here, have already murdered all the stuff that's here and uh, we're ready to disembark, we're ready to to go back into orbit and potentially, uh, or move on to another mission. But there is a rumbling in the distance and a vast dust cloud building. And so the orcs will be racing back from that table edge over there to try and beat up all the beakies. There's a nice big fight going on. So we're playing Cleanse and Capture from the main rule book. That's the one where you have three cards a turn every turn because the Space Marines want to cleanse and capture this site finally. And the Orcs want to recapture this site and cleanse it of all the beakies of all the humans. So there's six objectives down. The two ones in the um, entranceways to the encampment are obviously gonna be uh, vitally important. There's two out here in the wilds and two down here. 3,000 point match play game from the main rule book. Really looking forward to this one. And one of the reasons why I'm really looking forward to this one, because we welcome back to the channel, Paul. Say hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. You brought your orcs back, Paul. I brought my orcs back, Paul. <laughs> the whole of the world has been waiting for a long time for you to bring your orcs back, because the last time you appeared on the channel with the orcs, it just, that battle report went into orbit. What happened there? A lot. <laughs> I'd like to say it's because we know what we're doing, but I think it's just because we just had such a good time. It was immense fun. And it flowed so well. And I want to thank everyone who chose to sub and look at that last battle report that we put up. The 13th versus the Orcs. It's my most successful video of all time. It's got over 400,000 views. You know, that's almost as many views as cat videos get. Proper, you know, well, almost cat videos get a few million, but it's for a 40k battle report to get that number of views, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So thank you everyone for choosing to um, to to watch I, that. I was one. looking back at it last night for a bit of nostalgia, and there were people even posting like yesterday and this week. It's crazy asking questions about it, and so on. yeah. So um, the biggest question was why weren't you re-rolling all your ones and what happened to Daka Daka Daka? Because <laughs> that game was um, was done on the index. Yeah, it was before any of it had come out. Yeah, that was index old school. So this yeah. time you've got all the new toys. Oh yes, you've got all the new stratagems. Uh huh. And you've bought something big and stompy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're going big as well. We're going three thousand points. So Space Marines deployed on this side. Orcs rumbling back towards their encampment on that side. A couple of shout outs. This battle mat is brought to you by urbanmats.com. They do scenery and battle mats. And all this orky terrain that you see is from cromlech.eu. They also do our objective markers and our command point tokens on deploymentzone.tv merchandise page. You can find the objective markers and command point tokens. And if you follow that link, it'll, it'll get to the Cromlech website, basically, where you can find... All this lovely orky MDF modular terrain. This is all different bits stuck together. Right, shout outs done. Let's go and have a look at these armies. Right, this is just under 3,000 points worth of Space Marines. I've got about 1,500 points worth of Primaris, 1,500 points worth of old school Space Marines. And so it's a double battalion, which gives me 13 command points to play with, which is really nice. And we'll start off with the Primaris Contingent. This is the second company of the 13th, the Primaris. These are from McCrag. So they are Scions of Gulliman. They follow the Ultramarines chapter tactic. So Space Marines, what they do is they've got the Devastator, Tactical and Assault Doctrines are in effect. You start off with a Devastator, then you switch to Tactical, then you can switch to Assault. And while the Tactical Doctrine is in effect, 
Ultramarines that didn't advance or fall back count as stationary. So bolter discipline kicks in and heavy weapons have a benefit. And basically, when the tactical doctrine is in effect, some of my guns will get some benefits as though I stood still. And also ultramarines can fall back and still shoot and they're plus one to their leadership. So this is what happens to these guys. I'll get to the old school guys in a second. And what I like to think of is the second company got to this um, outpost first, this Orky outpost. And these are the guys that have destroyed all the orcs that were here and the grots and the orcs that were running around inside the encampment. And then they see a smoke cloud coming in the distance and they hear the rumbling of the wire as it's racing down towards them. And they've called for aid from the first company. So I've got three units that are gonna be coming zipping down in drop pods and two flyers coming in. So we've got orbital support from the old school coming in here to uh, help support the people who've already cleansed and captured the site. And now there's some more re-cleansing and recapturing going on. Which is a really nice space for anything to do, isn't it? Yeah. They will. they always have reinforcements ready on their battle barges. Yes. So at any point, any any group of brothers anywhere in the sector yep. can be reinforced. Yeah. So I think that's, I think that's really cool. Yeah, and also you've got to imagine that the, this wire is raging across the planet, so there's other elements of the 13th that are deployed here, there, or over. There's Astra Militarum and Titans blaring in the distance. And these guys were prepped and ready in their drop pods, ready to come into support just in case they needed to. So, yeah. I've got a captain... Uh, in Phobos armor and a lieutenant. That's the uh, captain lieutenant have been leading this force. Three units of intercessors with uh, bolt rifles and then a good mixture of um, guys in the background. There's a unit of inceptors or jumpy dudes with uh, assault bolters. There's a unit of suppressors. There's a unit of six flamestorm aggressors. Now, if they count as stationary, they can fire their flamestorm aggressors twice. So they're going to be quite nasty against infantry. Um, and no, they won't count as stationary though, will they? Because it's bolt guns count as stationary. No, it's, um, no, no, the way it works is while the tactical doctrine is in effect, um, my entire army counts as stationary so long as they didn't advance. Um, so it does affect flamers. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it affects flamers. And the suppressors, for example, even though these are heavy guns, while the tactical doctrine is in effect, they can jump around all over the place and count as though stationary. Oh, you know, 10 Hellblasters, because don't leave home without them, and two Invicta Tactical War Suits, which um, they have concealed positions, so I could potentially push them forward. Doesn't make narrative sense other than the fact that perhaps, potentially, they could have been running straight up towards you as soon as they saw the smoke cloud in the distance, because they're quite quick. Or maybe they are, they weren't actually involved in the main fight. Maybe they were scout, you know, around the edges, removing peripheral forces. That's better. And they're yeah. now coming back in now yeah. that the uh, the the proverbial is hitting the fan. Yeah, let's let's say that's what was happening. They were out and about scouting, doing their thing. So yeah, fall back and shoot. And when the tactical doctrine kicks in, I count a station move, which is quite nice. However. The first company of the 13th, these guys are success, um, used the successor chapter tactics. These were not founded on McCrag. They've been rampaging across the galaxy for many thousands of years. So I'm using the Bolter Fusillades rule and Stalwart. Bolter Fusillades is three rocket rolls of one with bolt weaponry. That's what they're going to be doing all game. And unmodified wound rolls of one or two don't wound them. Um, I find that that rule doesn't kick in very often because if a space marine's getting hit by something that can wound him on a one or two, he tends not to have an armor save. It does kick in once or twice. But uh, leading the charge is Brother Captain Solgaro. He has the Burning Blade, so it's basically a strength seven um, power sword, which does two damage, but he's also the Imperium Sword. So if he charges or was charged, he gets um, plus one attack and plus one strength. So technically he could get up to strength eight with an additional attack if he goes charging in. And he's gonna be coming out of the Storm Raven with a standard squad of um, Terminators inside this Storm Raven here and attached to the mag grapple at the back of the Storm Raven will be an ironclad dreadnought with a melter and a heavy flamer um, ready to um, tear apart some of the transports coming down towards me. And then I've got 20 tactical marines, melter combi melter in this squad, melter combi melter in that squad, and there's just a missile launcher in this squad of 10 here. And there'll be a librarian joining them as they come down from the sky 
in the drop pods and the librarian's got Veil of Time and Might of Heroes. And then um, adding some fire support, um, being the wingman for the Storm Raven is a Storm Talon gunship and I've given it Typhoon missile launchers. So yeah, this is the reserve force coming in to support the second company. Really like this idea. The other thing is in match play, Drop bots can come in in turn one. I'm not entire. I might want to hold them off until turn three, to be fair. I don't know. Drop bots can come in in turn one. So a few rules to always remember. Help me out with this, Paul. Oh, yes. These guys are always re-rolling hit rolls of one with bot weaponry, and they've got the stalwart thing. These guys are the guys that can fall back. Does the stalwart thing affect the flyer and the dread as well? Yeah, they have the chapter key. <laughs> But the thing is, it's... So if I hit the Dread with a Strength 20 weapon, which I have got, we'll come on to that in a minute. A Strength 20 weapon? Yeah. 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 Then, um... A 1 or 2 to wound it doesn't wound it. Okay, that's fairly stalwart. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what they do. That's what these guys do. But the, the Devastator Tactical Doctrine affects everyone here. Yeah. But they only get the benefits of counting as though they're stationary when their Tactical Doctrine is in effect. So um, a number of rules to remember, but I am really looking forward to this game. Let's go and have a look at the Orcs. Right, this is just under 3,000 points worth of Orcs. It's a Bad Moons detachment, which their clan culture means they get to re-roll hit rolls of one when they shoot. They've got all the DACA. It's a battalion and a Supreme Command detachment, and you've got an extra command point because of your war Wall tree. Right? Yeah, so what am I looking at, Paul? Okay, so before I talk you through what everything is yes i'll tell you why it is what it is and how i <laughs> come about it the, the, the usual thing i do so um it's narrative wise yes it's based around the fact that um we've got all our mech shops um uh, sort of at the back yeah building stuff like yeah. stompers yeah and um we've seen some beakies have uh, murderized some nearby orcs we've got all oh, to fight over there <laughs> Jolly good. And one of the big mechs has gone, follow me, lads. Yes. And everyone has piled into vehicles and started running in the direction of where the beakies are. Okay. So there's loads of other orcs that are running this way, yeah. but these are the faster things, so these are going to get hit first. Yeah, okay, right. So there's 300,000 points worth of orcs charging down towards me, but uh, fortunately for me, I've only got a stomper in these guys here. And, and let's be fair, unless it's a major deployment and there's three or four wholesale chapters involved. Yes. Marines never fight that number of orcs. They do surgical strikes. They have surgically struck, but we're just going to clobber them before they can naff off. Okay, I like it. So, that's why it's all either flying yes. or riding or stomping with big long legs. So everything here can get inside the transports? Yes. And it's charging ahead of the orc lines? Yes. Beautiful, I love it. Yes. Um, Warlord. The army is based around... No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. My, my brain works in a certain way. I okay. say works. <laughs> Uh, it's based around having the Stomper. Yes. Because the Stomper was a 40th birthday present from my wonderful girlfriend. And I painted it over Christmas, so I need to stomp some beakies with it. Beautiful. And uh, 40, it's got 40 wounds as well. 40. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 40 wounds, strength 20 weapon. Yeah. What's yeah. What, It's got strength 20 weapon? That. That. Well, it's more than strength 10 and it's times 2. Right, okay, that's a strength 20 chain fist of doom. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. I <laughs> ah, love it. Okay, so um, I've had to build the arm in a specific way because with it being a bad moon stomper, yes. I absolutely won't field it without a bad moon trait. Yes. And I don't know if, uh, this is the same in a number of the books, but sp particularly in the orcs, the auxiliary support attachment, the auxiliary super heavy, yes. well, you, know, you know, the one where you just take one, Yeah, you don't get a clan trait. Yeah, because that's too super heavy. I think it works like that for the guard and some others. You don't get the trait. Yeah. Now, I'm assuming that it just stops people having one trait for the whole army and then bolting on one big nasty thing and, it and then just picking the best trait. Yes. I assume that's why. Yes. So I would either have to bring three of them. I've only got one. <laughs> and it would make the game a bit unbalanced. Um, or you can take a super heavy in a Supreme Command attachment. Supreme Command attachment unlocks a super heavy thing you yeah. have with the clan trait. It's like three, yes. between three and five HQ. Yes. Not on one elite, not on one super heavy. So how many HQ have you got? Oh, I've got a lot because <laughs> I have two in my battalion yeah. and three in the Supreme Command. Okay. So I've okay. got five. Okay. Right, so who's the warlord, Paul? Okay. 
The warlord is this guy, who is the Big Mech Gobrots. Okay. So he's basically seen that there's a scrap on the horizon. He's used some kind of uh, spinny, orky, fine humy device and gone, oh, there's a Umi's over there, there's Beakies. Follow me, lads. Yep. And they've all followed him. <laughs> and by virtue of the fact he said, follow me, lads, he's acquired the follow me, lads, warlord trait. Yeah. Which basically gives him all the war boss stuff. It gives him breaking heads and wah. And an extra command point. Nice. So you get... to the extra command point. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that's how orcs work, right? So yeah, they're following him. Yeah. And uh, he's the de facto war boss for this scrap. Yeah. Because <laughs> they followed him. Yeah. Cool. So initially, I thought what I want to do is I want to have the supreme command attachment all in the stomper. Yes. So, and they are these three are the HQs from the supreme command attachment. Okay. Another big mech with the teleportery gun thing. Yes. And uh, weird boy. Yep. Regular weird boy and a unit of mega armor knobs. Okay. But the space left in there, so not wanting to waste that, we've got five regular knobs. Okay. It were. So the knobs, I like it. So you've got regular knobs, mega knobs, following the supreme command attachment, and they're all jumping in the stomper. Yeah. Because it's the biggest and shiniest thing. Yeah. Nice. And, yeah, and coincidentally, pure coincidence, the uh, force of regeneration will give the stomper an invulnerable save. Yeah, it will give it. Pure, pure coincidence. 40 wounds with a 5-up in vulnerable save as long as he's inside the thing. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, so... Well, he probably built it so he doesn't want bits falling off of it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, that's the Supreme Command attachment. Yes. The rest of it is a battalion. Yes. So the battalion is led by these two gits, a Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun, mm -hmm. and a Weird Boy Warpad. I recognise that guy. <laughs> yes, you do. Is that the guy that killed Civitas Kane? Yes. Ed banged him. Yes. And the other orc thingy bob. Yes. Oh, I'm coming for him. Yes, and it is him as well. So it is him. It is him. Oh, he's going to die. He always takes Ed Banger and the Crunch. Oh, so yeah. that's what he's got. So I've spent a command point on making him a warped. All right, okay, so he's been promoted. No, he was a warped last uh, No, he was wasn't he? a warped last time. As soon as he was able to become a warped. Yes. Well, it's not a promotion. It's the way weird boys tend to work in orc, uh, in orc background is the war energy really hurts their heads. Yeah. And back in the day, the weird boy used to be a unit. Yeah. And you'd have um, one weird boy and two minders, and the minders' job would be to drag the weird boy onto the battlefield okay. because they were they ran away from the orcs because they couldn't stand the warp energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if the the minders died, the weird boy would run away. A warped is someone who gets off on it. <laughs> they've, got, they've got so used to the warp energy, they love it, they're thrill seekers. So he's getting dragged to it, yeah. and him, they can't keep him away. They can't keep him away. <laughs> and the warp heads uh, cast more powers and have no more powers. Okay. Uh, so he's also got the relic, the scorched git bones. Right. So the story goes yes. that a weird boy by the name of Odd Git vomited all over some yellow beaky git called... Typhus or Typhoon or Tycho or something like that. Red he was. Half a face, yeah. And uh, then he got shot up by the Beakies. Then after the fight, the Weird Boys captured his bones. They went back. Not the Weird Boys, the Odd Boys. That's not the Odd Boys, the Mad Boys, there's the ones. The Mad Boys went back, picked up his bones, and they've been selling them to other orcs. Okay. So when he's doing his, 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 his war thing, he's going to have a little nibble. Little nibble on a little bit of old old git. Yeah. And he's going to get plus one to cast. Okay. Two powers plus one to cast. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Oh, they're, sorry. They're, they're all inside a truck. Yeah, I'm back in the room now. Yes. <laughs> uh, with ten boys, ten shoes boys, combi, rocket on the knob, uh, regular rocket. Yeah. Uh, he's probably not going to hit anything because it's heavy weapon and he's going to be driving around. But, yeah. yeah, we'll, we'll see. Three rolls, hit rolls, on the shock attack. Yeah. And so, you can fire out a truck, so that's the thing. Yeah, only in 40k, you can't fire out of stuff. But Dark Eldar, Harlequins, and Orcs have a... Sp that's one thing that... What do Dark Eldar and Harlequins and Orcs have in common? They can fire out of vehicles. That's about the only thing. Okay, that was a bad joke. <laughs> we have a Gorkonaut... What? We have a Gorkonaut with some more nobles in it. Yeah, so Gorgonauts have a transport capacity of six. Yeah. So five knobs and a knob with um, a wire banner. Yeah. Which makes an excellent weapon, but also orcs can add one to their hits in the fight phase when they're next to the orc. Yeah, it does make an excellent weapon. However, the only available model is modelled with a power claw. Yeah. So you give them the power claw as well, and it makes the wild powder pointless. Yeah. But hey ho, 
Okay. So Gorkanor. Yeah. Um, it's basically like an Imperial Knight, but not quite as good. Yeah, I think it's 18 wounds instead of 24. Yeah, something like that. Three up save. Big gun, 18 shots, some rockets, some big yeah. shooters, Scorcher, but big hitty thing. Toughness 8, many wounds, toughness 8, many wounds, toughness 8, many wounds. You've got a lot of tough... Well, the battle coming. wagon doesn't have to be toughness 8. Yeah. You need an upgrade to make it toughness 8. Have you given it the upgrade to make it? Yes. <laughs> so it's no longer open top, so I can't shoot out of that. Okay. But basically, there's just a load of boys are piled into that. So I've as a 10 boys. Right. One knob's got a claw, the other knob's got a combi scorcher. Right, and they're inside the battle wagon. They're inside the battle wagon. The battle wagon's got a kill cannon, four big shooters, lobber, death roller. Death roller is awesome. It is. If you, I don't know why you haven't got battle wagon with death rollers in your orc armor yet. I've got a battle wagon with a death roller coming. Well, quite. <laughs> <laughs> we have a flyer. Yeah, bird of bomber. That's the bomber you want. Yeah. Okay. To fly around dropping things on you. And then a bunch of scorches inside a, another truck. Yeah, Burner Boys and two spanners taking it to 12. I had hoped to f absolutely fill everything, but there's two spare transport capacity in the um, stumper that I didn't have the points to be able to fill up. So I'm okay. very disappointed with myself about that. Uh, yeah. I well, did badly there. Maybe they clambered in there at the start and they were hanging on because I know it's got a transport capacity of 20, but they're not all inside, right? They just hang on to it. No, they are all inside. If you look at the model, right. these are sort of hatches that open up and the orcs okay. spill out of it and they're all the way around. Well, I always had the impression that most of them were inside, but some were just sort of like hanging off of it and maybe they fell off. Um, with a lot of orc vehicles, I would agree. Like trucks, especially. I mean, That's look at a truck, you can fit like two orcs in it, the rest of them yeah. are just hanging on. Yeah. But this has got sort of impaling spikes all the way around the outside. And okay. I don't know, maybe. I just never thought of the stomper that way. Yeah, or maybe he annoyed one of the uh, nobles or something and they killed him already. Yeah. R ripped his teeth out. Yeah. Okay, so just under 3,000 points worth of bad moons, all coming at me really rather fast and <laughs> quickly. Let's go into deployment. And we're deployed for this 3,000 point game of cleanse and capture. The orcs, the bad moons, are racing down towards this orc encampment that the space marines have already cleared out. So the space marines are digging in and preparing to sell themselves against this orc push. The way it works in cleanse and capture as well is you take turns dropping and he who drops first can choose whether they go first. You had six drops. <laughs> so the orcs have the drop on the Space Marines and can choose whether they go first. Um, what I did is there is a couple of war suits which can deploy further up the battlefield. So one's hiding behind this thing here, one's hiding there. That's slightly out of my deployment zone, these two war suits, but with their concealed positions, they can deploy a bit further forward. And then my jumpy dudes, the Inceptors are in reserve, along with the three drop pods that are thumping down from orbit. And then one of the drop pods is my Librarian. In the Storm Raven, we have the Terminators and my Warlord, Brother Captain Sol Garrow. And hanging off the back in the Grav Harness is the Ironclad Dreadnought. Uh, close air support is the Storm Talon. So we have Intercessors, Intercessors, Intercessors spread across the line. There is the Primaris Captain and Lieutenant, and then all the guns, the suppressors, and the uh, Hell Blasters of uh, taking up positions on that um, Orc Bastion there. And we're ready to go. Um, pause deployment. Well, there's a gateway there, so trucks are going to log jam their way through that one. And there's a gateway here. We've decided that this is a 300 ton stomping machine. If this stomper wants to crash its way through the walls, it can crash its way through the walls. Gorkonaut, not so much. But uh, these things will not, well, they'll be pancaked, essentially. If that stomper wants to go that way, it can go that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, would you like to go first or would you like me to first? <laughs> I think I, I need a dice. I need to try and steal. Do you want to steal? <sighs> Actually, that's a good point. Because range in my army, I've got the suppressors back here. I mean, let's be honest, everything is going to be a foot further forward after my turn. And I've got the flyers. I don't really want to steal, but it seems like the Space Marines would try and take initiative. Really? Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they draw... I mean, I want to go first, so I'm just... I'm, I'm playing with you. But wouldn't they want to draw them into the net and then kill them? Why would they want to act before the, the trap is ready? Yeah, I'm before... sold. I'm, I'm sold. It's, it's Orcs turn one. Yes! 
And so, Big Mech Gobrot shouts out his first array of orders. Mission critical objective, take number six. That's quite... Um, I like it, because it's right in the Orc encampment. That's basically, get the camp back. Yeah. Give him some Dacca, shoot something to death, and Big Game Hunter, blow up a vehicle. So it looks like you're going vehicle hunting with your orders. Here we are after the Orc movement phase. That was very quick, Paul. <laughs> Just What about these two objectives back here? What about them? Yeah, but there's two objectives and you're... You just okay. Uh-huh. okay. So the fly came forward. The stomper came forward. There was no advancing going on. The gorkonaut came well, forward. We've been told to give him some dacca, so we've got to slow down to do that. <laughs> the trucks over here are uh, ones rammed the wall. He obviously uh, <clears throat> had his foot on the accelerator, and the battle wagon is breaking its way through. So uh, you're right at the encampment. You're almost home. No psychic phase because the psych is in there. One of them's in there. One of them's in a the truck. Somewhere. Yeah. Right, let's shoot some Dakar. Starting off the shooting phase, we're starting off with the Stomper. Of course, we're starting off with the Stomper. And Paul's already spent two command points on more Dakar. So Dakar, Dakar, Dakar kicks in on a five up. He's already told me all the bits that he's, uh, st- uh, where all the guns are going, because it has many guns. But you're starting off with the Super Shooter, or the, the big... The Death Cannon. The Death Cannon, the biggest gun on did, its arm. Where is it going? It's going did in... you mention Daka Daka Daka? Daka Daka Daka, yes. Sorry, I zoned out for a... I was looking at the stuff. And you're shooting at the big thing, the flyer. Yeah, the big thing. Now, right. normally hitting flyers, you orcs hit on fives, because it's a flyer, you'd be hitting on sixes. But Daka 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 hits in on a five up now, because you spent that command point. So, uh, how many shots? 3d6. 3d6. Four, that many. I'll take that. Ten. Ten shots hitting on fives with daka 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 And re-rolling ones because you're a bad moon. Oh. And fives and sixes explode. More shots. And don't convert. Oh yeah, re-roll the ones. Uh, only three hits in the end. Hmm. Strength ten, toughness seven. Wounding on. Threes. Threes, yep. Yeah. Because ones and twos wouldn't hurt me. Right, they all wound. What's the AP of this? Minus four. Minus four? Yeah. I don't get a save. Uh, what's the damage? D6. D- what? D6. Yeah. I've got to get me a stomper. Uh, that's not enough to kill it. The Storm Raven has got four wounds left. Not spending a command point there because the Super Rocker, ro- Rocket super rocket is also going into the flyer, which hits on a five. D6 shots. Is it? So one shot. That's a shame. It's on a five. <laughs> oh! And that's more Dakka, so... Uh, okay, just one hit. Strength. Eight. It wounds. AP. Minus three. Minus three. I need a six. I don't get a six. Come on, boy! No. <laughs> D6 damage. Yes. Four to get through. One. Now, we sh- now do you want a command point? 50-50 uh, chance of uh, a four plus. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Yay, yeah, that works. That's the last four wounds taken off the Storm Raven gunship, which will explode on a six. It doesn't explode. Now, there's six guys inside, plus a dreadnought, which I have to roll seven for. Seven models. Can I have a, yeah, seven models. And on a one, I will lose a model. And man, boy. one of them. They're veterans. They're Terminators and or dreadnoughts, man. Okay, they survive much the explosion. And so as the storm raven spirals down from the sky and crashes into the ground, the first company, the ironclad, and my captain managed to disembark without casualty. Now that is first blood, given some Dakar and big game hunter. That's three go, go, points go, go, right go, there. Go, 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 it should go, also go. worth mentioning. That's objective six. That's the objective that you want to secure. The mission critical Ooh. one right inside the encampment. Right, and then the other guns from the stomper. Some was going into the intercessors. <laughs> And someone's going into the Hell Blasters. <laughs> right, so this is now all the shooters into the intercessors down here, hitting on fives, and fives and sixes explode, re-rolling ones. Eight hits with the re-rolls, and they're exploding because of Daka Daka Daka. Oh, two more ones, three more ones. So only eight hits in the end. Oh. These are stretched five. Yep, three. Moving on threes. Oh. And uh, I currently have a. Two up save because I am in terrain. Oh, sure you are. And uh, none of them die. We're all good. Now the Super Gatler spools up. It's going into the Hell Blasters. Heavy 3d6 for many shots. 14 shots hitting on fives. 10 hits with the rerolls, Paul. <laughs> and then more Daka kicks in. 
Oh, and re-rolling ones. What's the strength of this gun? Seven. Is it seven? Yeah. What was that, Paul? If it were two damage, it'd be the best thing since orc bread. Is orc bread a thing? It is now. Uh, yeah, whatever. So it's seven. <laughs> what, why not? <laughs> Three's to wound. Save, which becomes a three-up save. And I make all of my saves. Yay, no one dies. Right. What? We're going to keep our finger on the button with the Psycho Daka Blaster rule. Okay. We should fire it again. Okay. And roll another dice. Yes. And on a two up, it's fine. On a one, I run out of ammo for the rest of the game. Oh, it's fine. So there's more ammo. Let's do that all again. 3d6 shots. That's nice. So essentially it's just spraying round after round after round and you get to keep going until you run out of ammo. Yeah, you can do it a maximum of three times a turn. Right. It's got much more chance of running out of ammo on the third go. Okay. Which I will, of course, be doing. But if it doesn't run out of ammo, then you can do it again next turn and spray <laughs> and spray and... Th- yeah. <laughs> okay. Fives, re-rolling ones, fives and sixes explode. After the ones, here's the more DACA re-rolls, which get to re-roll the ones. Okay, some more shots come in, and these are wounding on threes. And then I have a three up save again, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, duck and cover, lads. Um, oh. I've made all my saves oh. again. These dice available right. on the deployment zone. Dot TV. Psycho Daka Blaster. We're firing it a third time. Okay. On a one to four, we run out of ammo for the rest of the game. One to four. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Endless supplies of ammo, but three D six shots. <laughs> okay. Then we roll to hit and roll to wound, and I've got this number of three up saves. And finally, after spraying three times all across that um, bastion, you manage to take down one Hellblaster. After the Stomper fired, now the Gorkonaut, the small one, is uh, going to fire its Death Storm mega shooter yeah, into the, the Tiddler. The Tiddler. It's weird calling a Gorkonaut a Tiddler. It's normally very. Anyway, the big 18 cannon shot of doom into this unit of intercessors, hitting on fives. Yeah, uh. there, there's good. And then re-roll of ones. You got two more dackers there, Paul, on sixes. Sixes explode, and another hit comes through. Right, this is a strength six weaponry. Yep. Hurting these space marines on threes. That's pretty good shooting. Now it's AP minus one, but I get a plus one because I'm in their terrain feature. So just a three up save. Primaris, of course, of two wounds each. And you kill a Primaris marine. But it's got some more shots coming in oh, yeah, as more, well. There's more gun. Two rockets from the back there streak across the battle grid and miss. And the big shooters in his other fist come flying in. Fives to hit. We rolling ones and sixes explode. And that's four hits. And this is strength five versus toughness four. So threes to wound. And it does two wounds. But I do get a two up save because I'm hull down. And uh, I save them. Hull down, where did that come from? Fourth edition. Yeah. That was if if your vehicle was fifty percent obscured from the line of sight of the fire, it was referred to as hull down. Yeah. And you would only score a glancing hit rather than a penetrating hit. And which then, had a different damage table and you only blow it up on a six. Two different table yeah, I remember. Yeah. And they're not vehicles, they're space marines. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right now we're on to the burner bomber. What's it what's it doing? Uh scorching missiles first. Basically it's just these guys are just trying to destroy that tower. They're almost competing with each other. Almost like free boosters, but not quite. <laughs> Scorching missiles coming in to the tower. Yeah, D6, assault oh. D6. Okay. For five. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice and handy. Fives to hit. Fives to hit, re-rolling ones. Ooh, that's Ooh. 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 And that's three. Daka, 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 daka. I'll tell you what, that rocket was full of Promethean or whatever. The orcs okay. use flammable liquid. Goo. Yes. We're doing on three, strength five. Okay. Right, so that's five wounds. AP minus? Minus one ignores cover. Oh, so I just get four up saves then. Yes. One damage, two I, damage? I, I think that one damage, yeah. Uh, I only fail one. Next. Okay, two super shooters, which have been fired by the Grot, so they hit on fours. Okay. Oh, he's a good shooter. And, and daka, daka, daka. Yeah. He's a, he's a good hit. Yeah. Super shooters. Strength five? Uh, six. Six. AP? Minus one. Minus one, so just three ups. Um, and I make all of them. Your saves are on 
fire for this Un- turn. Unlike the Space Marines, who are sadly not on fire. <laughs> and it's got more guns. Two big shooters. Six shots coming in hot. Hitting on fives. Re- Rerolling ones. And then the Dakers. Two Dakers exploding there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, messing up. Uh, three hits. Right, strength five. five. Winding on. A wound. I need a... Two. Two. I get a two. Oh. Because of the cover. Oh. Okay, so moving from the right flank, we're coming round here. You've got some guys inside some transports and uh, the big wagging of doom is yet to speak. What are you firing at, Paul? Okay, so the contents of this truck are going to fire at these Terminators. At the um, Terminators? Yeah, I think that's got a two-up save, so... Yeah. Okay, all right then. Uh, shock attack gun first. First off, determine the strength of seven. Heavy D6 for three. Right. Getting on sixes because I've moved and I'm in a heavy, it's a heavy weapon. Okay. Reroll the one. The though. one? No, no. no. So As shock, he expected. Shock attack gun fires wide. There's everything else is out of range apart from a, a, a combi rocket and a rocket. So both of those yes. into the. Sorry, it's a separate unit, it doesn't matter. They're going into the big thing. The ironclad? Yeah. Okay. The, the big thing. It's the ironclad dreadnought. The big thing. Reroll ones. Miss. Firing widely there, rockets going off into space. Okay. Maybe they're trying to shoot the moon. There are two big shooters <laughs> on the trucks. Yes. Um, 36 inch range, big shooters. Yeah. Terminators? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're missing again. Yeah. We're using the same dice here, guys, from the same dice pot. <laughs> there are two custom shooters in the back truck. Okay. And the, the inhabitants haven't fired yet. So they'll also fire at the iron climb, and I'll just check the range. 24 inch range, you're in range, firing at the ironclad, hitting on fives. And they miss as well. After the trucks and the contents have fired, we're now coming across to the battle wagon. So the battle wagon, it's got a lobber on it, which is gonna come, and you said you're gonna lob it down into this mess because there's a lot of boys here. Yeah, yeah. So hell blasters or suppressors? Ah, uh, suppressors. Okay, so the lobber is getting lobbed at the suppressors, and then all the other guns, the big shooters and the battle cannon, is kill, going, cannon. kill cannon is going into the Terminators. So, um, where do you want to start? We'll start with the lobber. Lobber. For three shots. Okay, right. Get on five. The usual things. One, one, one hit. hit. Strength five. Oh, oh, it's a wound. AP? No. No AP. Two up. I make my save. Yep. And then we have the kill cannon. Okay, kill cannon is heavy D6. For, For two. two shots. No. Misses. And no. then... It'll take me. Uh, yeah, big shooters. Okay. Fives to hit. Rerolling the ones. Sixes are more DACA. One more DACA. Three hits. Three wounds. And um, Terminators. Oh, so snake eyes. Two up saves. I did. I do make a snake eyes. Two snake eyes saves. I haven't used a command point in the thingy bob in the shooting phase. Yes, you yes I did. To save one of them from... To save one of those Terminators. Yeah. Who's now been shot in the face. Maybe he was limping after getting taken out from the storm. There may be. Actually, you've saved one of the other Terminators and that one's been shot. So you have saved a Terminator just someone else has died instead. Then the guns fall silent. That is the end of the shooting phase. You've killed a Terminator, a Intercessor, a Hellblaster, oh, and also a Storm Raven. <laughs> Um, but the guns fall silent, and there is a charge coming up. Paul spending a command point on command points. two command points on ramming speed. Yeah. And the battle wagon with the roller is going to try and ram the Invictus warsuit. I did a bunch of Overwatch. I actually got a couple of wounds through, but it made the saves. Now this is an eleven-inch charge. Yeah. But it's re-rollable because of here we go because of orcs, and you roll three dice because of ramming speed. Yeah. <laughs> So three dice re-rollable to make this charge on the Invictus suit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And you don't need the re-roll. And so the battle wagon makes the charge. What a glorious charge. This does a couple of things. It gives you your mission critical objective. You say get it, you got it. And you're also blocking off um, uh, passageways for me to get through to get to the soft trucks behind. And when you complete a charge move with ramming speed, I think you do mortal wounds. Yeah. D- um, on a two plus, just D three mortal wounds. Okay. Shall we? Yes. Shall we? Shall we? Okay. So that is a two plus D three mortal wounds for three mortal wounds on the Invictus suit. I think they start off with thirteen. It's Can nice. I just say whoop whoop? <laughs> it's already down to ten. Yes, the suit's down to ten wounds left, and now it gets crumped by a death roller. What does this thing do? So 
Uh, does a number of things. Right. It's strength of the model plus one. Okay. So the strength is nine. Um, toughness seven. Six. Yeah. Hooray. It's minus two AP and two damage. Oh. Uh, but it adds three to hit rolls uh, when you attack with the weapon. Okay. And on this profile, I have six attacks. So basically, six attacks, strength nine, minus two, hit on twos. Whoa. Okay. Twos to hit then. And everything hits. It's hard to miss an Invictus Warsuit. Threes to wound. Five. Five wounds at minus two. Yep. So five. Five up saves. And uh, I don't make any... I make one of those saves. Did you say two damage? Two damage. It's got two wounds left. The Invictus suit has taken a critical hit, but it's not dead. Four attacks plus one for Shock Assault. It's five attacks back again. But it's hitting on fives because it's only on two wounds. And I hit three times. It's strength 14 with its fist. So I need threes to wound, because you are toughness eight. Um, I wound once at minus three, but it is a flat three damage. Uh, four up saves, so straight through. Okay, three damage off the battle wagon. So it's got 13 wounds left. Is that the end of the fight phase now, Paul? No. No? It's got a command point on boarding action. Uh, what does that do? Oh, you haven't read it. Oh, you're an orc player. You should know this. Allow me to enlighten you. Okay. Use the stress at the end of the fight phase. It's the end of the fight phase. Select an enemy vehicle, Unit that cannot fly and is within one inch of a truck or battle wagon model from your army. Yes. Any model embarked upon that truck or battle wagon, there are 20 boys in there, Yeah. can make a single attack with one melee weapon against the enemy unit. Basically, we're all jumping off and clobbering you. <laughs> now, fortunately for you, I normally have knobs in there. It's yes. only boys. But there are these a power claw. Oh, so shall we start with the power claw? Let's does start it say a single attack? It does, right? a single attack. So it would be on a four. And it misses. Right, then the boys, one attack each. There is another knob in here, but strength four, strength five makes no difference. So I'm rolling yes. more together. Yes, yes. Threes with all of these. And I am toughness six, sir. So fives to wound. Is that three? It's three. Three. Three, three up saves. And I make the saves. And uh, the guys come clambering out the battle wagon and try and clobber the Invictus Warsuit, but it kicks them off. And that is the end of turn one. Some lost opportunities here to take down the Invictus suit. But you've got all three of your objectives. And you've got first blood. And there's first blood available in this mission, not first strike. So it is four points to zero in favour of the Orcs. Because I'm not within three of the centre of that objective. Um, so it's four points to zero in favour of the Orcs. And they're already back inside their encampment and something big and stompy is about to come straight through the entrance way. But you are gonna you're about to make a mess of that battle wagon of those boys. I think what you should do is concentrate here. Yes. And pay attention to what's going on here yes. and get rid of that threat. Get rid of that threat and then that's tomorrow's winter's problem. <laughs> well there's terminators right in front of your battle wagon there so they're only going one way, right? No. <laughs> no morale for me to take. Let's find out what the thirteenth do. In turn one. And here are the orders for the 13th. Mission critical objective. I rolled a six. We're both fighting over objective six. I also need to master the warp. So my librarian's feet need to hit the battle grid. And find a character. Find one of these supreme command detachment orcs. And kill him. Okay, here we are after the 13th movement phase. And for the longest time, I was looking at putting all the dacker down into the Gorkonaut and the Stomper. And hurting these things there. But then I realised that I couldn't either bring enough gun to bear on them, so I could damage them, but not damage them very much yet. I need your big mech with his five up and vulnerable safe to get out of there. Um, maybe you'll to stay what, in sorry? there to get out of there. Oh, maybe you'll, you'll have to destroy it. <laughs> He's going to stay inside and tinker and pull on the levers and press the red buttons and things. Yes. Okay. So anyway, I couldn't. Well, what you said is is jump on the battle wagon, and after having a good oh, look... Oh, I, I was taking the mech. No, it's a good idea. Jump on the battle wagon. That's tomorrow's problem. Destroy the battle wagon. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I reckon what you've got to do is you've got to shoot the wagon to death and then kill the orcs, because yes. otherwise you've got 20 boys there. Oh, and the weight of numbers, they will clobber you. I forgot to move the Invictus suit. So that's the end of the movement phase. I've moved the Invictus suit out of close <laughs> combat. Now, the idea is 13 wounds is shoot it, blow it open and then blow the crap out of all the boys that got inside. And I've dropped a pot and get mission critical objective number six. Um, but to do that, I need to kill many boys. But I don't think you can fit any here because you'll be within a... 
you'd be out of coherency. They'd all be around the back, basically. It's two units, remember? So yes. there is a space. Yes. But then again, that's because... So the pod space. came in here with my librarian, and there's a melter combi melter in that squad. I originally thought about putting him behind, but he needs to buff characters. So there's Master of the Warp, there's Mission Critical Objective number six, and of course the pod comes in at the end of the movement phase after all my units move forward, and then the Storm Talon raced through the sky and has got behind the trucks, and another squad is back out here in the wilds. Uh, it's not bait. <laughs> it's going to be shooting your, your stuff from behind. It's not bait. That's bait. And uh, hopefully damage some of them. Well, there's a couple of characters in there. If, yeah. it, if it falls right for you, you might be able to get assassinated from that. I need, I need to character hunt. Um, and that's it. Um, I did think about doing some movement in the castle back here, but it's just, there's a stomper coming. Stand your ground, men. Meanwhile, the captain and lieutenant pulled back so their aura affects all the units next to them. Second phase, librarian trying to put Might of Heroes on the Dreadnought. And that might pass. That's a six. Yes, that passes. Extra strength, toughness, and attack on the Ironclad. Up to toughness 9 now. And his other psychic power is going to be a simple smite on a 5. And that passes, and it'll do D3 mortal wounds on the truck. And the mine bullets... Ooh, wagon, wagon. 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 Take three wounds off your wagon. Shooting phase. Now, before I deal with all of that mess, let's come round here. This tactical squad is going to put the melter combi melter into that truck. And all the bolt of fire as well. So let's do the melters, hitting on threes. They both hit, strength eight, toughness truck, wounding on threes. And I uh, get a wound. You don't get a save, because um, AP minus many, and it will do D6 damage. For five damage on the truck. Round shackle. Round shackle, yeah. New, because on a one I'd have just blown off a bit you didn't need. And then the bolters in rapid fire, hit on threes, and reroll ones I remembered, because of my ability. Mm -hmm. So five wounds so far, and another wound, four up save. You make the save. Right, then the storm turn. Mm. I'm going to spend a command point on big guns never tire. So my storm count talon can move and fire its heavy weapons. Having singularly failed to protect the storm raven from incoming fire. Yes, so it can move. And it doesn't suffer the penalty of moving fire and said weapon, so it's hit. There's so, going to be no entry in the roll of honour for you. <laughs> what that means is hitting your truck on a two. Oh, whatever. Because the heavy two weapons truck. are now threes to hit, and then plus one to hit because it is a ground target. So the Typhoon missile launch has two shots hitting on twos. And at strength seven, I'm wounding on threes. Threes. And with the Devastator Doctrine, it's AP minus three. It would be okay, AP minus no three. Save. And it's D6. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Many. The two. Yes. Gets no. through. The six. On a roll, on a six, reduce the damage caused by the attack to a one. So that's ramshackle. That worked. Yeah, that worked. That's so that much. makes that a one. Yeah. I basically blew off a bit you don't need. Yeah. So that did three damage instead of eight damage. Yeah. And the truck's still alive. Yeah. Two okay. left. I've got 12... Uh, assault cannon shots. Aww. Hitting on twos because of big guns. Six versus six is wound on fours. Oh, that's not great. And it's AP... Only two wounds. It's AP minus two. So two six up saves and you keep the truck alive. It's got two or, wounds Or one left. of them. Or one of them, yeah. The truck's gone. Yeah. Does it go kablooey? No. And there's 12 guys inside. Don't roll any ones. And you roll three, four ones. You disembark three when a vehicle goes nuts and you don't have to be holy within three. So it turns out that the orcs could clamber over the wall into the encampment there, which is maybe why so many of them died because they were getting shot as they were clambering their way over the wall. Now we're going on to the Invictus suit. I can't see the wagon. So it's gonna put all the shots into this shot, into this truck here. The incendium cannon's out of range. So it's just the heavy bolter and the iron hail, heavy stubber, and the grenade launcher. We'll do the heavy bolter and the iron hail all at the same time because it's hitting on fours because I'm heavy. And it's strength four or five, so I'm wounding on fives. And it's AP minus two with the Devastator Doctrine in effect, so two sixes. I take two wounds off the truck. Then the grenade launcher has three shots, which hits on threes. Are they all hit? Wound on fives. 
No AP, one wound. Uh, three wounds off the truck. Storm Bolter into the bo mm, I've got assassinate. There's a character that no, he's not closer. Into the boys. Um, Rerolling hit rolls of one because it has the. It's weird. Hits. Don't wound a boy. Right, that's the firepower from round here. Now the idea is to crack open this big wagon before I um. Yeah, before I go charging in the boys. So the Invictus suit fell back. It's an ultramarine, it can still fire. At minus one. But the incending cannon auto hits the flamer. That's unsporting. I will, <laughs> it's very unsporting. I will bathe you in Are holy promethium. It's 12. Are you in range of the boys? That suit. These boys. Mm. You might just be. Mm, yeah. I want to kill the truck. All right, I want kill, to kill the, the wagon. wagon. Kill the wagon. Number of auto hits, seven. And it's strength six, so, or five, sorry. I'm winning you on fives. But it is AP minus two because of the Devastator Doctrine. So fives. Sixes. Oh yeah, three more wounds. Then the Iron Hail Heavy Stubbers and the Heavy Bolter just bounced. Now the Dreadnought in front of you, the Ironclad Dreadnought has a Melter and a Flamer. So, uh, oh no, one minute. I should do the Melter Combi Melter from that squad first, yes. Let's do them. They hit on threes. And all the uh, bolters will come in as well. Ooh, two hits. Strength eight versus toughness eight. Yep. Fours. I get a wound. No armor save. D6 damage. For six damage. Ram shackle, ram shackle, ram shackle. Oh, it's not a truck. It's not a truck. How many wounds has it got left? One. Nice. Bolter fire from the same squad. And I need sixes to wound to take this last wound off. <gasps> two wounds. <laughs> two four ups. It, oh. It's dead. It does it go kaboom. Don't blow up, don't blow up. And there's many guys inside. Battle wagon's gone, and when the boys scramble out, it looks like this. A couple in each squad died. Now I've still got many shots coming in. Uh, the ironclad, well, I guess it's going to fire at this squad of boys. It's got a melter and a flamer. The melter hits. This is a bit rude, isn't it? And melts one. Ow! <laughs> the heavy flamer has five shots. Which will kill on threes, and he kills five. Is four plus the melter. Then after the ironclad fired, the terminators and the pod joined in, and it's looking like this now, brother Captain Sol Garrow's gonna fire in. He hits on twos with his storm bolter, re-rolling ones, and he wounds on fours, and he only wounds once. One more six up save four. No, cool. I kill one more. That's good. Um, and that's all the firepower that is going to come raining in against the orcs around here. I was trying to spread the firepower across the line because I know morale is a thing. But mob up is also a thing. No, um, I can't mob up now. You've got to have at least one. one at least one has to be ten strong. Okay. There's some charges coming on. But that's, that's that flank. That's okay. This flank did well. I took out the wagon. I took out the truck. Round here is going to be less successful because I'm going to be firing at some really heavy armour. <laughs> yes. So um, let's start off with all the intercessors, which will be hitting on threes and wounding on sixes, firing in at the big stomper. All three squads fired in, and you made your saves. I only got two wounds through anyway, you made your saves. So I'm coming across to the hell blasters, and I'm overcooking my guns, and we're going to fire in. So I'm hitting on threes, and re-rolling ones, and I've rolled a bunch of twos, look. Whew. So on ones I would have lost the marines, so that's good. I didn't lose any marines, but four of the shots go wide anyway. Uh, this gets my guns up to strength eight, your toughness eight. I need fours, and I can reroll ones because there's a lieutenant. Three wounds, three five up invulnerable saves because of the KFF. Uh -huh. Who fell them all? No. Six damage, two damage each. Now the suppressor squad are going to join in with their accelerator auto cannon. Two shots each, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of the captain. So look, I'm making all my armor saves, but I can't hit for toffee. Yeah. <laughs> Two hits, strength seven, I need fives. I get a wound, it's AP minus two or three because of the Devastator Doctrine. It's five up if it's... We'll check if I roll four. New. No. That's two more damage. Lieutenant, master crafted, bolt rifle, hits, doesn't wound. Now my... Phobos Captain can target characters with his three damage gun. I got down and had a really good look. 
at your shock attack gun. I can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll fire at the Gorkonaut as well. Go for an ice lock. Two. You can only just not see him as well. Yeah, I like, know. You're a couple luck. of millimetres to the right and you've got him. There was more luck than judgment, <laughs> wasn't there? <laughs> burn oh, I put the orc there. Sixes to wound? No. Uh, no. Because that's a damage free weapon. It's the only snipery, yeah, yeah, nice. snipery gun I have in my entire army. That's the end of my shooting phase. So have tickled the stomper. Taking eight wounds off? Yeah. Only 32 to go. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about Grot Riggers later. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to do some charges. Um, this ironclad will try and go in against both of the units. Yeah, let's try and do both of the units. Um, we'll do the overwatch in a second. Snake, I don't make the charge. Man okay. Point. So, <laughs> let, man point. Let's send the terminators in. No, because we roll it. Man not, point. Sir. No, no, no. Because I got I've got a diff, I've got another opportunity with. Did the you put a spell in it earlier? Did that make me roll? No, oh. no. That was extra strength and toughness and thingy bob. That's no. a shame. The other spell I've got, veil of time. That would have been a re-roll on the charge. Yes. Maybe I should have done that one. Yes. <laughs> okay, terminators. They're going to fail the charge as well. I'm going to command point now. <laughs> Seven, I think they might get in. Terminators make it here. I've lost a Terminator, Paul. Because um, you put a Scorcher in that squad. What? And Scorchers are minus one. Oh, have you started filming? Yes. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> so I lost a Terminator, made the charge. Now, at the start of the fight phase, I'm going to pile in three inches. You have to go to the closest model. We've already pre-measured this. Which will... Oh, I moved in a bit. Sword. Which will tie up the second squad. Because I don't want that power fist charging through and hitting my ironclad. And then I'm spending the command point on Fury of the first. So my I've got plus one to hit. So what I'm going to do is the sword and this fist have to attack. The sword is going to attack him. The fist is going to attack him because he's within an inch of him. Yeah. And this fist hits that guy. So we do the lone fist hitting these two here. I would be hitting on fours. But back to threes because of Fury of the First. And I hit twice. And I will squish these two guys on twos. I only squish one. And the other one's a knob anyway. You've had to have done the wounds to squish him. Okay. Uh, power Fist number two hitting the squad of three. On threes. I only hit once. Twos to wound. I wound. AP minus mint. Right. It's going to come down to the sergeant. So he's got three attacks because he's sergeant, plus one for shock assault. He's hitting on two to the power sword. Good man. Good man. And, uh, yes, everything hits. Toughness four, right? Yep. Force to wound. Two wounds, AP minus three. Well, that kills him and um, takes a wound off him. So your power claw is still alive. Still alive. And gets to fight me back. And he's in his orky happy place. Right, so orcs striking back. Okay. You've got your knob. I'm gonna active. I'm gonna activate my knob. Okay. Three attacks. He hits on fours with his claw. Ooh, oh yeah. This could do it. Any strength ten. Twos. Oh, not twos. Why? Because of oh, yeah. your thingy. Ones, the and, ones and twos will not hurt me. If I roll a two now, it makes the whole thing worthwhile. Stalwart. There you go. The two doesn't hurt me, but those, those two do hurt yeah, me. Yeah, they do. I need five up Crux Terminator saves. I don't make them both. I ah. make them both. We are first. We stand firm. That armour has a sliver of the Emperor's might in it. it yes. The Crooks, the, the Crooks Terminatus is the, um, the, uh, the icon on the shoulder. And supposedly, yeah. every Crooks Terminatus has a sliver of yeah. the, uh, the Emperor's armour in it, which is what gives it its invulnerability. I know. That's and what they tell him anyway. I know you know. I'm telling everyone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we are in your... Back room having a game of 40k, just having a conversation, but this will eventually go out to thousands. <laughs> it's a glorious thing, though. It's, imagine if just a tiny, just a molecule of the Emperor's armour can provide you with an, a, the Emperor protection. Now. He does indeed. Okay. And so, on that note, I'm going to punch him in the face with the other noble. <laughs> oh, he's, he's protecting today. He wounds. Wounds. Two up. And I make the save. So I did lose a Terminator on the way in, but I didn't lose any to close combat, which is, and tied up that power claw, which is what I wanted. And that's the end of my phase. We have mini morale to do, sir. So you're not spending the command points on keeping those two alive. They've gone. We have a morale on the ship. They, they'd six. be hacked 
to bits by the Terminators, so yes. overwhelming numbers through the wreckage of their transport. Now their leadership would be 10 or 12 within a year, but that unit is in a truck, so it doesn't count as on the battle grid. Right up. So it's just their flat leadership. Four plus the four they lost. It's is eight. eight. Leadership of boys six, seven. isn't it? Seven. Seven, all right. Seven. Just one flea. He must have impaled himself on a spike as he lost his point. <laughs> lost his nerve. I'm not sure about this, boss. Slip. <laughs> Impale. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. I got Master the Warp. I'm securing mission critical objective number six. I haven't assassinated any characters yet. Um, I think I will ditch assassinate. I'm going to kill some characters anyway at some point. But I'd like to draw some more cards next turn. So it is only two points for the 13th and four points for the Orcs. They've got double the number of points than me. But I have pushed back the thrust on this flank. However, I was, there's precious little standing in the way of this thrust. <laughs> Let's go to Orkstead too. After achieving all of his objectives last turn, <gasps> your uh, big mech starts screaming out some more orders. Psychological warfare, make the marines, fail a morale test, but we do not bend. Here we go, wow. You've got to make three charges, get a point, and secure objective four. That's one of those objectives behind you, Paul. Back out in the uh, there's obviously some gubbins out there that they want us to pick up on the way back. We're part way into the movement phase because the bomber has banked through the sky and has dropped bombs on the hell blasters. This happens in the movement phase. You you roll a dice for every model in the squad. Yeah. And there's we'll nine. Do a, do a match them with ten. Right. And then uh, what does it do? Well, uh, an infantry model. They're infantry, yes. Yes, an infantry model uh, will take a mortal wound on a four up. Oh. <laughs> okay, nine dice, looking for fours. Bombs away, lads. <gasps> Is that five? Five. Five. That's two and a half bl hell blasters. I'll take that. Blown up. Here we are after the orcs movement phase. It took them two turns only, and they're entirely back inside their encampment. They're back home again. There's there's objective four, Paul. It's out there. I'll get it away out. <laughs> the other objectives are uh, make us break and do some charges. We have. Trucks and burner boys that disembark from the truck. We've got the remaining shooter boys and there's mo opportunities for multiple charges around here. Uh, we already did the fly doing his bombing run. And the stomper has come crashing through the middle. Now, you said, uh, you what's this grot riggers thing that you were talking about? The stomper's got grot riggers. Okay. It's, it's an upgrade. It's an ability. Uh, at the end of the movement phase, roll a dice on a two up. D3 wounds repaired. Okay. Two up. That's a three. D three wounds. Three wounds? You got three wounds back on it. When? It's going to take a while to take that thing out. Okay, psychic phase. You've got your warp head here. Um, he's got some psychic powers. Plus one to his cast because of the green warp energy flowing through him. Plus one for the git bones. Okay, plus two then. What's okay, uh, manifest the crunch. Okay. A big ectoplasmic foot of mork or possibly gork is going <laughs> to stand on them. Gits. Is it? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Plus two to cast. Okay. Cast on an eight. And Put. that's a twelve. It's not a perils because a natural It it is a perils because You're an orc. Because I'm an orc. Okay. However, no, it's not a per it's not a perils because it's plus one is for my git bones. Yes. Which is not doesn't have the special rule that makes it go over twelve. But I think if first you cast if it's one minute. Yes, he suffers the perils. It take D three wounds. Ow. Ow! Ow! One wound left. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's cast. Yes. Right, the crunch. Roll a D six for every model of the unit on a six. It suffers a mortal wound. Okay. Five of them. Stamp, 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 stamp. No. So you did three to yourself and none to me. None to me. However, yes. at the end, roll two D six on a ten plus. No, would have done it again. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, ooh, this might. Uh, no, a banger. Okay. It's fun. Uh, I don't like this one. And then manifest on an A. Are you aiming at Sol Garrow? No, it's the nearest model. Oh, okay. It, it w with Civitas K, yes. it, it was only happened because he was the nearest model. Yes, I it was his. It was his poor battle awareness and positioning that caused his downfall. Don't take me back there, Paul. It was a dark day. Right, that right. works. Nine, it's cast. Are you going to try and deny it? Oh, yeah, I can you try can and deny it. it. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't deny it. Okay. Okay. Roll the dice, compare it to the model's toughness. One. No. So psychic phase is a wash. Yes. Okay, now we're on to the DACA phase. What are you doing? Say hi, Paul. Okay, so well, the, 
the burner bomber has just flown over here, so I think he's going to unload into these hell blasters. The ones it set on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, then I think over here we'll do the small arms and the burning into. Uh, well, actually, we'll do these first. Shooters into the terminators, rockets into into here. Okay, so let's do that. Then I've got some choices with them, depending on what gets killed or what doesn't. But what about the stomper? The st well, I did think of doing a stomper first, but there's so many little things I want to whittle down. Okay. I want to whittle them first. Well, so you said this unit first. So rockets into the Invictor and things like that. Let's do that. Okay. Two rockets at the Invictor suit, fives to hit. Ooh, Ooh. daka, daka, daka. Ooh. Oh, two it. hits. Okay. okay. Eight, toughness six. A wound. One wound. It's minus two, two, three damage, and it only has two wounds. Yes. And I make the save again. I keep making saves. Is okay. It, no mind. Is it minus two? Yes. Okay. I made the save. One wound hit the terminators, and I make that save. Onto the burners. They're going to set the terminators on fire, and the two custom mega blasters from the spanners are going into the Invictor suit. So, uh, are we doing that first? Yeah, we do that first. Okay. Uh, you get a hit. Straight and eight. Uh, you get a wound. I think this is minus three, this, this one. Is. And I don't make that save. D6, D6. damage. <gasps> the Invictor suit is taken out by a spanner, which does not blow up. Burners, what are they doing? 3d3 three three auto hits on the Terminators. Ooh. Uh, For 30. 30. 30. 30 auto hits. Winning on fours. This is going to sting, isn't it? You got 20 wounds, Paul. Yeah. Can the um, ter did. Terminators walk through fire? Don't roll any ones. So there's a dead Terminator. There's a nut. You killed two Terminators. So there's one Terminator left, and then the big shooter from the truck just fired in at the Invicta. Didn't do any damage. That's the attacks from this flank here. A couple of Terminators. And one of the Invictor suits gone. Now we're on to the burn and bomber. Paul split his fire a little bit now. We've got missiles going yeah. into suppressors and all the other stuff going into the Hellblasters, right? That's right. Okay, so what are we doing? D6 shots from Scorching missiles and okay. suppressors. Oh, it's the oh. big fat six. This is going to sting, isn't it? It might. <laughs> Fives to hit. Three uh, hits and one Dakar. Yes. Okay. Re Roll, Roll. one, yeah. Three hits. Strength seven, right? Uh, five for scorching oh, missiles. Okay. So threes. So that's three. AP minus. Minus one ignores cover. Oh, so fours into the suppressors. You killed two a uh, suppressor and a half. Suppressor and a half. Mm. That works for me. And then the other shots. There's a lot of these. No. Oh. There's the um the super shooters. Yes. Fired by the grots. They hit on fours. Okay. Uh, rolling ones. Yeah. Uh, strange anomaly there. It was fired by a grot, but it's still getting a clan culture. You're getting a DACA though. No, okay. Three, so two wounds. Our blasters have a one up save. And Minus one for the gun. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so, well, one more dies. More guns, twin big shooter. This one's hitting on fives, re rolling ones, and daquering for one more. Okay, so only two hits in the end. Fives to wound. No, uh, strength five, three's to wound. Three's to wound. Um, if I roll a one, I lose another Hellblaster, and I don't. So there's two suppressors left and six Hellblasters. Now we're moving along to something big and stompy. Basically all the smallish arms and the flamer are going into this unit of intercessors. Yeah. The super daiquiri stuff is going into the Hellblasters. And the big cannon of doom is going to go into my ironclad. Um, so spraying fire all over the place, spending two command points on more DACA one more time, because let's face it, this thing has got all the DACA. Where are we starting from? But for? interestingly, so this is a, this is a top tip. Okay. This, this is a say hi Paul top tip. <laughs> um, the psycho DACA blaster rule is an additional firing. Yeah. So I can choose a different target. Yeah. So I'll fire that last. Oh yeah, because you could spray it at different. I could spray it at a different target if I've decided because I want psychological warfare. Yes. If there's a couple of them left, I go. Do you know what? I've okay. had enough. I'll shoot someone I'll else. Shoot something else. Because like, he's basically panning his gun right and left and spraying lots of explosive rounds everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So we'll start with the death cannon into the ironclad. Into the ironclad. Three to six shots. 
Uh, that's 12 shots. It's 12 shots. Fives to hit. Um, there's a one. Lots of twos, look. You rolled like me. Twos, yeah. And then the fives and sixes explode. And you've got four of them because of more DACA. And re-roll the one. So in the end, six hits out of ten. Um, what strength is this gun? Strength ten. ten. All right, I'm toughness nine right now because I'm a spell. You're still Ooh. wounding on a three. Uh, AP minus four. I don't get a save. <laughs> four d six down. The I'm so dead. What? That's wow. Wow. That would have been twenty one damage on a toughness nine chassis. Yeah. It um, is a big gun. Does he go boom? Uh, he does he go uh -oh. boom. He's right next to my warlord. I'm re-rolling that one. He doesn't go boom. <laughs> so the ironclad has finally gone. Um, that was devastating. And now we're on to the scorcher and the big shooter coming into the intercessors right in front. So uh, scorcher time. Scorcher time. Is one hit. <laughs> it's red five minus one. It does wound. That's cocked, mate. It does wound. It doesn't, doesn't wound. wound. And then big shooters. I need more dice. Oh. Shooters and big twin big shooters. Fives. And the Mordakas and the re-rolls all coming out there. So that's nine hits in the end. That's strength five. Toughness four. Three to mm. Three up saves. I'm not in cover now. And uh, you tickle one. And now the Super Gatler into the Hellblasters. For number of shots. Eight. Fives to hit. Reroll those ones. Hmm, and three exploding dice. Uh, only four hits this time. Threes. Uh, three wounds, minus, minus two, two, you said. So. so it's four up saves. Now you cover. Yes, the Hellblasters are all there. So that's the injured one he's taken out. It's five left, you're still shooting in, so don't yep. roll a one. So don't roll a one. You don't roll a one, still got more ammunition left in that gun, and there's not a lot of ammunition though. There's not that much. Only seven. <laughs> I, I had a good turn last turn. I'm all right with that. Reroll the one. Two dacks. So only two hits this time. Strength seven. Oh, they both wound. Uh, fours. Um, you tickle another one. I would like to think that being 50% dead is more than being tickled. Well, he's, just, he's got a limp. He's a slight limp. He'll bite your kneecaps off. He's fine. He's getting better, is he? He's getting better. Right, okay. Fingers on the trigger. Oh, dear. I don't want a five. I don't want a... I want a five or a six. Want a five or a six? Six. Numero of shots. Oh, uh, that's better. That's better. That's better. Rerolling the ones. That's a little bit better. This is much... This is much better. Oh dear. I'm how many DAC is that? That's seven. Seven again, extra shots. Do you need more dice? No, I've got more dice. Fives. We're on the ones. Okay, so nine hits. Bueller. Nine. Three step. Ooh, that one's really cocked. That must have felt. Sure? Yes. So fours. Fours. I've got five Hellblasters left. And now I've got four, three Hellblasters left. You've got Psychological Warfare. Yeah, now. I'll take that. This good. You've killed six. Three Hellblasters left. Then we moved on to the Gorkonaut. And I thought, well, we'll get this off camera because I've got threes and two up saves here. And um, I just rolled that for my last bunch of saves for the shooters. So you've cleared away the Intercessors with the Gorkonaut. The Intercessors in the Watchtower there. And uh, that was... Pretty successful from um, Big Mama and Little Tiddler. And the last thing left to fire now is the shock attack gun. The shock attack gun is going to target the Invicta suit that it's uh, the truck's going to ram. So uh, strength, strength is seven. seven. That's okay, it's toughness is six. Two shots hitting on... Not that. Not that. So that's the shock attack gun twice now. He hasn't chucked enough Gretchen into that teleportation. Snotlings. Beam. Snotlings. Right, then we did the charges. The truck made it into the Invicta, and you had both units of boys charge into the Terminator. Here, orcs get to re-roll charges. I took a couple of wounds off the truck. I didn't take any wounds off the boys. That's three charges. Then the Stomper only needed a five to hit this unit of Intercessors. Four charges. And then the Gorkonaut made it into this squad here. You needed a seven, and you re-rolled, and you've made your five charges. Here we go, uh... 
Their eyes, big, yellow, stompy things all across the Space Marines lines were pushed right back. Stompa! So we're starting with the Stompa. And are you doing your big slash attack or your big jumpy jumpy attack? So the Mega Chopper can smash or slash. Yes. To slash. Yes. Which is three hit rolls for each attack, giving me a total of 18 attacks. Eight, okay. Uh, so hit on threes. Strength user, which is currently 10. Minus two, D3 damage. Now I'm contemplating spending... A, no, I'm not going to spend a command point on transhuman physiology. There's, no, just slash it, me. It would be funny. <laughs> Um, where are we going? Let's do that corner. Okay. Okay, you're hitting on threes at strength ten. And winning on twos at strength ten. He's crit. Ooh. 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 Maybe I should have spent that. Mind you, if I'd have spent it on transhuman yeah, physiology, I'd say two. So it's minus two. Minus two, yeah, five. Uh, thanks. Uh, one. I saved one. Each of these does D3, there's five guys. So the first one kills the first one because it's on one wound. Yes. Then... Ooh. No, another one kills it. Oh, hang on. That's two dead. Three dead. Uh, that would be four. You kill four. There hang, is one on, still hang alive. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, boy. That, that leaves one behind, but then you need at least a three plus on there, and then a three plus on that one as well. Oh, I'll let the dice tell the story then. I can't believe they've survived an assault from a stomper. We're Astartes. We know no fear. It looks like this. Do you want to pile in? Uh, yeah. Now it looks like this. Where are we going next? Right, let's do the truck. The truck ramming the Invictor suit. See, I could spend two command points to uh, interrupt now. But what's the Terminator going to do? Maybe kill a couple of boys and the Invictor suit can withstand the truck. Um... And I'm not going to kill the Gorkonaut by interrupting, so I'll let you get all the way through your charge phase. Anyway, what's the truck going to do to an Invictor suit anyway? So hit it with a wrecking ball. Your wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. What does the wrecking ball do? Uh, it's plus two strength, minus one damage, um, minus one AP, and two damage. So you've got a hit, right? Yeah, it was D3 attacks because I'm okay. Uh, bracketed. Okay. Hit on fives because okay. of a vehicle. Ooh. It hits. Strength what? Strength currently seven because I'm damaged. Moves on the three, doesn't move. Aww. The wrecking ball did nothing. Came in. Yes, like a wrecking ball. Exactly, exactly like a wrecking ball. A wrecking ball made of mashed potato. Now we have mini boys hitting a Terminator. Have you got a power claw in there somewhere? Nah, nothing. Okay, so a load of attacks. So the normal boys had a go first, doing six wounds, six two up saves. I'm fine. And now we have the Burner Boys, which hit on threes. And wound on fours. But this is minus two, right? Because yep. you're using your burners. They can also use them in close combat. Those are like arc welders, mm. metal cutters. They're trying to cut them apart. Fours? Um, you do cut down that Terminator. And the burners consolidate closer, staring down Brother Captain Sol Garrow. And now we come around here. The Gorkonaut versus Inceptors, and now I'm going to spend two command points on Transhuman Physiology. One minute, no I'm not, because they do a flat two damage. It does do a flat two damage. The Stomper D3 with a flat two, so uh, I don't think I can say anything. Anyway, so he's got six attacks, but you can times that by three, three yeah. to do your slashy attack as well. So, 18 Core attacks. Four of Gork, smash. This is smash rather than slash. Okay. The smash is the slashing on the... With the claw of Gork. Crush is the slash. And the, oh god, I was going to roll three, some dice. Three, three's to hit. Three's to hit. And two. St Ooh, that's again a bad dice roll. That's a very bad dice roll. And uh, two's to wound. The strength huge. Strength eight. E exactly eight. And I would have ignored those ones there. Look at that. If you, I'd have spent. You'd have ignored, oh, you ignored the threes as well? Yeah, one, two, and three with transhuman physiology. That would have only been two. <sighs> Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, minus, minus, that's. Oh, no, that is one. Yeah, then. minus two. Minus two. So fives or dead intercessors. Uh, that's the squad. And stompy things consolidate even closer. Now, I have a fight back. I have a heroic sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna try go and, on, son. Go on. Try and prise a bit of metal off the front of that stomper. He's got four attacks because the shock assault. Go on. Threes. 
He's uh, he only hits twice. How oh, does sorry, he two, two's good. Two, how, are, yeah. Go how, on. how does he miss? Oh, sixes. No, oh. no, they're bolted on rather solidly. Now we have morale. No, no. And you got psychological no, no. warfare. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Do you not want to pull oh, the trunk yeah. apart? Yeah, yeah, I've got trunk. Oh, yeah, this will make me feel better. So the Invictus Horsey, <laughs> five attacks, it's uninjured. So five attacks with shock assault, hit in the truck on threes. And I am strength 14. Oh, so it's twos. times two. So twos. And they are minus three, three damage. Well, the ramshackle oh, could, yeah. could be a thing. Well, that's, three, a, that's all of them. Three, 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 four. Four sixes? Yes. I could. I could roll, but I haven't. No. I don't explode. Okay. So uh, I kill him. Now I can consolidate a bit. So he goes around the orky bastion. Now we're on to morale. So um, leadership eight, which is leadership nine because of the ultramarines thing. Because you've got psychological warfare. Uh-huh. So uh, <laughs> that's a six. They shall know no fear. He stands firm. He stands firm. Right. Hell blasters. I lost six this turn. They're leadership nine. So if I roll a three, I'm okay. Or I could burn two command points and stand firm. It's a 50-50 chance of a save. A one, two, three, I'm okay. Uh-huh. And then I could spend one command point. No, I can't because it's a reroll. So it's a 50-50 chance of a reroll. Free re -roll. Yeah, I'll do that instead. So one, two, three, I'm okay. I'm okay. We know no fear. And that's the end of Orcs. Turn two, they're deep inside the encampment and they have certainly smashed all the way along the lines. Now the Space Marines are going to have to respond in turn two. I've got a couple of Hell Blasters and Suppressors left. And it looks like Aggressors are going to have to try and jump on a Stomper and I don't fancy their chances. And maybe Brother Captain Solgaro is going to have to go in there as well. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, I have to do it. Or I could ignore the Stomper entirely in my turn and try and kill everything else around. It's full of knobs and characters. Yeah, I've still got a drop pod and ten guys in a missile launcher. I've still got five jumpy dudes that can come down from the sky. The Invictor's okay. This squad over here is okay. I've still got some assets left. And it's a point scoring game. It's about spreading out and getting these objectives. And talking about good. that, you've ditched objective four. Yeah, I'll get on the way out, it's fine. <laughs> I'm talking about points, it was four points to two, but you made five charges, so you get D three points, sir. Good luck. It's just the one. Go on. I'm so happy with that. It's five points to two, but the Space Marines are certainly on the back foot. Let's ha find out how they respond in turn two. And so here are my objectives in turn two. I need to defend six, the mission critical objective, that makes sense. Kingslayer cut the head from the orky snake and no mercy no respite you get a point if you kill or make an enemy unit fail a morale test if I kill or make three fail morale tests kill and or three units that's d3 points five points to two I need to defend objective six and kill at least three things so the storm talon has switched into hover mode came flying across here bank through the sky switch back round this way and we're looking at the Mech boy with a shock attack gun and the Psyker. And there's vengeance in this life or the next. And we're also in the tactical doctrine all of a sudden. So um, rapid fire weapons are plus one to their AP. And my Invicta- as, as are assault weapons. As assault weapons, yeah. And my Invicta Warsuit doesn't suffer the penalty for moving and firing now because he's coming around the corner and he's gonna flame on into that squad and then go charging in. And hopefully that's three things dead. And there's the objective that we need to defend. So I've put Brother Captain Solgaro on it, along with a big uh, the squad that came out of the pod. And I should be able to get those two points there. I was thinking about spending, sending Solgaro in against the Stomper, along with the Aggressors. The Aggressors are going to have to try and dent that steel hide. But this is the objective that we've been ordered to defend. That's the objective that he wants to, us to defend. And it's five points to two. We need these points. We need to secure this installation, this Orky installation. I reckon that looks like it's a good landing site for a Thunderhawk gunship. Yeah. That'll be why. That'll be why. That's their extraction point. Of course, the sergeants fall and back. The librarian steps forward. And talking about falling back, um, I haven't got many guns that are going to go against the Gorkonaut this turn. It's going to be unimpeded. So these lieutenant and captain here has flown back. I'm figuring if I kill everything else, 
then you're going to have the stomper and the gorkonaut and its cargo and a flyer left. I think you've got a decent chance of taking out the stomper. Um, we'll see. <laughs> And then the last uh, drop pod came thumping in onto this objective up here, out in the waste. There's two objectives up here. Let's put a squad there, a full squad of 10, with a missile launcher. It can oh, shoot there for turn up. That's the one with our gubbins on it. Yeah, we've got we, it now. We're just going to get out of the way out. We're going to have to come through you. No, you. Yeah, come at me, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I oomed and ahed for a very long time about bringing the jumpy dudes in, the inceptors, and I've decided to keep them off the table. Because I want to crack one of these open and then use them to shoot all the goodness. And also, to be fair, there wasn't any good places to put them. I could have put them back in this corner to lend fire against the stomper, but then they would have been back in the corner. Or I could have put them somewhere over here, but then they would have got lit up by a Gorkonaut. So, um, and I'm not putting much into the Gorkonaut this turn. So it made more sense to me, tactically and spiritually, <laughs> to leave them in my pocket. Right, let's do some psychic shenanigans. Start off with a good old fashioned smite against the stomper. I need a five. And uh, that's a perils. I'm not going to command point reroll it. I do D3 wounds D6 to myself. Wound. Oh, to, to myself, yourself. right, yes. So he takes two wounds, but it is a super smite, which is why I'm not. D6 yeah, on the yeah. stomper. It's got. Well, it's desperate times. He's really putting everything into it, isn't he? Desperate measures. Uh, that's a two. Command, command point. point. That's a two. It's It was meant to be. And now let's put Might of Heroes on Brother Captain Saul Garrow. And I need a six. Boy. That's a seven. No, you don't. And you stop it. Right. Let's get vengeance. We're in the shooting phase. I'm going to spend another command point on big guns never tire. So that Storm Talon is hitting on twos. I'll put the 12 shots into the Weird Boy from the Twin Assault Cannon and the two Typhoon Missile Launchers into the Shock Attack Gun. Here's the shots hitting the weird boy. Twos. Everything hit, Paul. Everything. Threes to wound. And now you need to make a chunk of six up saves. And just before all the bullets come in, he's going to jump himself away. And he de jumps himself Self away. Away! Away! Run away! He's gone. Now two Typhoon missile launches into the shock attack gun. Twos to hit. They both hit. I am straight eight. They both wound and they're AP minus two. What's his normal save? Normal four up. Okay. So, so it's three up, so I got two five up saves. Yes. Ooh, get some dices. You make one. One. D6 damage for four. For four. Quickly turning page, quickly turning page. Oh, he's got four wounds. And he did. You know, thinking about it, because I've moved this tactical squad round here with melters. I should have perhaps fired the right. Typhoon missile launchers at the Stomper. Or possibly fired the other unit first. Yes, that would have made more sense. Yes, yes it would. <laughs> right, let's do the Invicta Tactical Warsuit into this squad of boys. The two Iron Hell Heavy Stubbers hitting on threes now. And wounding on fours at strength four. They're AP minus one, that'll kill one because they only have t-shirt saves. The burner boys is this. Uh, burner boys. And then yep. the heavy bolter hits once and kills another. Then the grenade launcher lashed out, didn't kill any. It's only a strength four weapon. But now the incending combustor, number of auto hits as the orcs get set on fire. Five auto hits at strength five is three more die burning straight through their armour. The Burner Boys get burned in return. After the Redemptor, moving on to this squad here, I've got six bolt guns, or three bolt guns, six shots rapid firing into, into the Burners, and the two Melters from that tactical squad are going to hit the Stomper. Here's the bolt guns. Threes to hit. Really? What? Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Forced to wound, and it's AP minus one because of the tactical doctrine, so that kills two more burners. Now, melt guns into Titanic Stomper, Melter Combi Melter, one hit. Strength eight, doesn't wound. I'm going to command point that. It does wound, five up and vulnerable save. You don't make it, D6 damage with a Melter. Don't roll a one, don't roll a one, don't roll a one. Roll a four. Okay, that worked. Now I've got a Storm Bolter from the pod in rapid fire range into the burners. And this Storm Bolter from this pod not in rapid fire range into the burners. I'll do it all at the same time. Threes to hit and fours to kill. Um, I kill three more. And then the brave heroic sergeant that fell back last time turns his bolt rifle over his shoulder and shoots one more down, leaving one 
More burner. Now we're on to my, mm. Let's shoot him with my librarian. Bolt pistol. Hits. And kills the last one at AP minus one. Perfect shot right between the eyes. There you go. That's three dead, three units killed. Cool. Now, interestingly, these flamers are sixes to wound. The flamers from a bolt storm aggressors. Yep. Yeah, they flame storm gauntlets are two D6 auto hits, but they count as standing still, so each of them gets four D6 auto hits. Yeah, and you had made a mistake ignoring those as long as it is. Which is this many? Auto hits. Um, that's 96 auto hits. <laughs> Fantastic! But it is sixes to wound. Let's do this off camera, it's a lot of dice. Right, they light the stomper on fire. From head to toe, 14 wounds, AP minus one, because the tactical doctrine is in effect. Okay. Fours. Uh, how did I do? There's three there. Another three there. Seven wounds. Seven wounds. I said eight. Seven wounds. I've melted some of the armour. The stomper's on 26 wounds. We're getting there. Now, a missile from here streaking across the battlefield on a four because they're not ultramarines. And that misses. Right, Hellblasters. Overcooking it. Point blank range into your side. Overcooking. Bring it. Threes. Uh, everything hits. Wow. Aww. And strength eight because I'm overcooking. Fours. Rerolling ones because there's a lieutenant there. Four wounds at AP minus. Huge. Four five up. Custom force field saves. You make two of them. So that's only four damage. It's down to 18 left. Let's do the suppressors. Uh, everything hits. I need fives to wound. Uh, one wound at minus two. Five up. New. That's many? another two damage. Right. That's all the guns. That's the end of my shooting phase. We have some charges coming on. The Invicta suit is going to try and charge this unit of boys. And uh, let's see how far he goes. Nine, that'll be enough. Let's do some overwatch. You've got two, two dice in your hand. Do the rockets on camera. <gasps> yeah. One hit, and that's a daka daka daka. Come on. Okay. Oh. Wounds on a three. It yeah. Wounds. I fail to say, yeah. it takes three wounds. Yeah. Off of it. Let's do the small arms. And he took four wounds off the Invicta suit before he made his way in. Uh. You really hurt him. It touched, served him right. That sarcophagus there should be sealed up. Do you know one thing I really need in my York army? What? Some orcs. You need more orcs, <laughs> just boys. It's orcs. <laughs> Brother Captain Saul Garrow made the charge as well. He's in that squad. And now we're going to charge with the aggressors and there's a ton of overwatch coming out. And the aggressors make the charge. There's only five left because you killed one, Paul. Yeah, at least the big death gun missed with everything, as did the big explodey super one-shot rocket. Yes, but there is a flamer there and much dacker big wow, and you killed one of them big wow. as they came charging through. Now, I'm going to start here. I'm not going to start with the Invicta suit. Oh, so. go on! Now, they all have power fists. <laughs> that guy is in range of Brother Captain Solgar. He's only four inches away. I could have moved him around. He's in range, so I'm re-rolling hit rolls of one. Indeed. And I've spent a command point on Gene Wrought Might. So any sixes to hit, auto wound. Yeah, he's going to punch straight through the superstructure. Yes. And then I've spent another command point on Inspiring Command, which is an ultramarine specific one, which increases the range of my lieutenant, who's just here, from six inches to nine inches. And we're eight inches away from the... He's shouting over the top of the building. Go oh, that is cunning, that is. Go for it, lads. Go for it. Well, he's right through the Vox, right? He's saying over the Vox. Well, I, I, I like to think he's tapping into the feeds from their helmets. He can see what they can see, and he's sending Vox bursts through to them, giving them direction and instruction. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> but I'm hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, and six is auto... Well, anyway, let's do this. Oh, and they have three attacks each, plus one for the charge for shock assault. And the sergeant's got five on the turn. <laughs> So uh, it's the fours to hit part. Good luck, sir. And then I need to re-roll the ones. Look at all those fours. What? That is and a six, dead stomper. <laughs> and the six is auto wound. Three auto wounds for Gene Rort Might. And another 11 hits. That's not bad, is it? Yes, that's, that stomper be screwed. Strength eight. Well, uh, yeah. Strength wounding on fours. Re-rolling ones because of inspiring command. And Any ones? Two ones. There's a couple of ones, and I did that many. 
Dude, they're so inspired. There's like eight sixes there. Yeah. And they're all AP minus three. Yeah. And you've got 16 wounds left. Yeah. And the custom force field only works against shooting attacks. Yeah. So, uh, my turn to say good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you've used up all the luck on these dice, but rather all the sixes. Shall, you, we get... shall we get some more dice? Different dice. Okay, sixes. Uh, changing no, the dice didn't no, help. None. Right, so this is all D3. Yep. Mmm. Alright. Uh, that's really cocked. So, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's a dead stomper, bro. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it blow? Now that is the question. Allow me to consult the book. Do you want me to give you a dice that rolled a one last time? Because yes, that would definitely yes, roll up. Yes. It's a roll six. Okay, don't blow up. It doesn't. Command point. Don't do it. Command point. No. Oh. Oh, well worth the try. We just pull bits of plate off and the stomper. Keels over and collapses. How many dudes are inside? 18? 18, yeah. And there's a stomper-shaped gap, and no one died as they scrambled out. And then I consolidate a little bit forward, but I can't tie them up. On to the next combat. Brother Captain Solgaro against some knobs. He's got four attacks, plus one for Imperial Sword, plus one for Shock Assault. So six attacks. He's currently hitting on twos. And he's strength seven. Oh no, he gets plus one strength on the charge as well. So we strength eight. Right, okay. Minus two. five to damage. Minus two. five? Yes, yeah, the burning blade. Okay, I, I've got an arm of six up. Uh, five wounds. At minus five to damage. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> then he'll consolidate. Come back this way. Then I'll select the Invicta war suit because uh, he charged. So then he can pile in three and then move forward another three. And begin to bring his guns to bear. And that's the end of my turn. Um, that was pretty successful, Paul. Can I give you the orc tactical summary? Yes. It's not looking good, lads. <laughs> yes. Well, there's still some dudes in there. You've got all in there. It's not looking good, lads. You don't really want to charge the aggressors. Cause oh, I'm going to mess the aggressors up somehow. Uh, you want to dacker them. But that's the end of my... Right, I've started to defend that objective there. Five points to two. You have. And I'm going to get D3 points for no mercy. You are. No respite. And I get the big three. So it's five points each as we go to Orcs, turn three. Right, here are the Orc orders. You ditched one. You've still got Psychological Warfare. King Slayer take out Brother Captain Solgaro and secure Objective 2. Where's Objective 2? I'm sat on it. You, oh. Yeah, right here is good, lads, yeah? <laughs> Right, it's all happening down here for the boys, except for the bomber. So uh, we'll put another light up in the corner, because everyone is now scrambling through the Orc Mech Workshop. <laughs> um, you had some advancing. So the knobs that got outside of the Gorkonaut, and the wire banner got out of the Gorkonaut, and the guys that originally got out of the Stomper. You've got two squads of nobles there, yep. plus the war banner, yep. plus your warlord. Come on. And because you advanced, you can still charge because you've got follow me lads. Yep. And you've got Kingslayer around. Yep. So you're going after Brother Captain Sol Garrett. Yep. Well, <laughs> that get there. He looks like he's in charge. He is he's in charge. He's got a big hat. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, there's going to be trouble for the aggressors as well. To be fair, if you manage to clear away the aggressors and some of these nice, chunky uh, assault base units here, then the that Gorkonaut's going to be a problem for me. Well, let me tell you, if I clear away those aggressors, yes, I am going to use ramming speed. I can, no, I can't use ramming speed. I have command points. Damn. The one but command e point. Either now. way, I'm going to get the Gorkonaut onto Garrow. Okay. Right. Let's go on to the psychic phase. Where is the librarian? Oh yeah, the, the other warped. The what? Is there librarian? Weird boy. Him. The weird boy. He's not the warped. He's a very naughty boy. He's there. There he is. Right, what are we doing with the psychic phase? Roar of Gork. Sorry, Roar of Mork. Okay. Eight. Eight, eight to cast. I've got more than ten orcs within uh, ten inches of me. Yeah, plus so one. Plus one. Uh, that Ooh. works. I'll try and block it. I need uh, double sixes. No, what does it do? Okay. Uh, every enemy unit within 18 inches of Psyker subtracts one from the leadership. 
Really? Yeah. Okay. And he's dead scared. We're not dead scared. That's dead scared. Just, 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 no, it's not. Dead scared. <laughs> what other interpretation would you put on their leadership going down? Uh, they're slightly distracted and wondering what this weird boy is making all this noise. I mean, they're ill-disciplined warriors. Coming. Well, I'm, well, you're saying we're either ill-disciplined or scared. That's about the size of it, yes. <laughs> right, shooting phase. Megan Ops shooting at aggressors. You've got four with the rockets there. Yeah. Five's to hit. And two daggers. There's another. Dash me, dash me. Okay, so three hits. Strength eight times five. Threes to wound. You wound twice. Minus two, right? I think so. And they're also flat three damage. Yep. So uh, every failed save. That kills an aggressor outright. Now the big mech there has got a custom mega blaster and a teleport blaster. Which one are we doing first? Custom mega blaster. Okay. Uh, reroll ones. He's a bad moon. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! Strength eight, wound on a three. Oh, we eat book. Uh, no. Doesn't wound. That dice was not fated to wound. No. Teleport blaster. blaster. Okay, salt three. Uh, one. Ooh, one. Hit. Daka, daka. Daka. Ooh. Two. Two. Strength eight. Strength eight. Yes, yes indeed. One wound, AP minus huge. Minus, no, to... minus two. Oh, five up save. I failed the save. Okay, you take one wound. Yes. If a model suffers unsafe wounds from this weapon is not slain, roll a d6 at the end of the phase. Can we do it now so we don't forget? Yes. Oh no, it'll affect other shooting and stuff. So this teleport blaster, if he's still alive at the end of the phase, he could potentially teleport away. The chances are he'll teleport away if you roll above his, his wounds characteristic. Yes, which is a three up. But he's going to take loads of more fire now, so it's not going to come off. So, Unless I'm incredibly unlucky with the rest of my daca. Well, it's a teaching moment. What, what we should do going forward, because I've got one of these guys as well, is fire them last. Last, yeah. 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 Teaching moment over. We're going with the Gorkonaut. It's firing everything into the aggressors, starting with the Scorcher. Number of auto hits, four auto hits. At strength five, we'll wound on fours. Wounds twice, minus one, so I need fours. And I make it. Shooters and twin shooters. Hitting on fives, re-rolling ones with sixes explode with Daka. Got two re-rolls there, or two Dakas. Yay. Strength five, toughness five, force to wound. That was pretty cold. Okay. Throw up saves. Yeah. Uh, that one who's injured, he takes another wound. Now the Death Storm Mega Shooter. Got seven hits with all the re-rolls and Dakas. Now to wound, threes to... Oh. oh. One wound. One wound. Minus one. And I make the save. Okay, two rockets from the shoulder. Point blank range. Can't miss. Rerolling ones. We can miss with one. <laughs> and it does wound. And I make that save because it's minus two. There are still three aggressors. Four aggressors staring at you going, ah, we shall not pass. Or you shall not pass. We shall not pass. And they're not going, ah, either. Arr. <laughs> Too many pirates here today. Right, so all the nobles were ordered to unload their sluggers into the aggressors, and they all did, and they did two wounds, two three-up saves, and I make them as well. So Gobrot, the mech boy, is firing his custom mega blaster in, and he hits with a daka. He hits twice, which doesn't generate with, more With hits. one shot. Yeah, it's not bad. And he wounds once, and it's AP minus four. I don't get a save. The one with one wound left. It's dead, or unless it's AP minus three, then I get a six. So either way, I fail it. You do kill the one that was going to get teleported away. And his corpse teleports away. Custom shooter from the weird boy with the, no, the banner guy. The, the knob with the banner. Whoa, he hits three times and a dacker. Uh, three times. Strength five, custom shooter. Oh no, strength four with many shots. One wound. I make the save. That's it for the shooting phase, except for the bomber. Oh, the, thing, the, the, thing, the thing with the bomber, right? Okay, yes. I know what the rules say, but the only weapon that can spin around on that is the turret on the back. So whilst I want to put all the shots I possibly can into those, the rockets are only going to fire forward, and the front-mounted guns are only no, no, going no. to fire Listen, forward. The flyer may be pointing that direction at the end of the movement phase, but he didn't come this way and then take a right turn. He's an orc. He went up, he did a loop, he sprayed, and now he's there. I mean, how slow would that flyer be going if it's now there? There's a flyer. It goes up, down, side to side. It doesn't stay at that height all the way through the battle. 
So I know, narratively speaking, there's absolutely okay. no reason why you, you can't me. spray the crap out of the aggressors if you want to spray Sold. the aggressors. Sold! Sold! Personally, I'd, Screw hit, those guys. I'd hit the tactical marines that are defending that objective instead, personally. Oh, you're going to get points from that, aren't you? Yes, but you've got to kill the Invictor Warsuit as well. Which I'm not going to. Okay. So, screw those guys. <laughs> Scorching missiles, getting dropped on the aggressors. D6. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dice me, bro. Dice. You know, fives. You know, ones. You know, ones. And three Ooh. of the missiles completely. Dice explode. me, bro. I haven't got any more. They're, oh, there. No. They're, there. They're there. They're there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there is shadow. Yeah. Couldn't see it. Yeah. Okay, so that was an explosive missile. So one missile. Yes. Six hits. Yes. Okay. It went boom. Strength five, so fours. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh a- I like this. AP minus. Minus one. No cover save. You don't get cover. Oh, anyway. uh, four, drop dice gun count. Fours. Um, one is tickled, and on one wound left, they start with three. Uh, super shooter. Super shooter. Fired by the Grot. It was a better shot because he, he's a Grot. We rolled a one. <laughs> oh, back at that one. Yeah. Strength six. Oh. We got threes. Two twos. Twos. AP. Come on, come on, come on. Minus one. Minus one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. No, get him. no. Get him. God damn it. The Grot didn't get anyone. All right. Two big shooters. Yes. We roll the ones. We roll the one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. One Dakar. Yeah. No. Strength five. We've got fours. Two is quite, quite, quite. One, 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 one. No. No. Um, now we're in the desperate search for another gun phase because those aggressors, well, their Gravis armor is holding up to all the firepower that the orcs can throw at them. I don't think, I think you ran out of gun. Not enough gun, my friend. Poo. Right, opening up the charge phase, yep. the Gorkonaut is going to get set on fire, eat the flamers from the aggressors. Yep. This number of auto hits. Now, these are strengths four, you are toughness eight. I put a wound on the Gorkonaut, Paul. One wound. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, where are we going next? You've got mega knobs. That... <sighs> right, I... I'm basically going to charge everything with everything, pretty much. So okay. it's just the order in which I do it. Sure. So I think these five knobs yes. will first charge uh, off those three. Declare charge on those three. Uh, sure. Yep. It's got a heavy flame on yep. it. Okay. I only need a cup one to survive, to lock them up. Basically, right. if they weren't all separate units in yes. game rules turns, yes. they're just all piling in. Right. So the ones at the front are going to die. Stormbolter from Sol Garrow hits three times. Good, good, good. <laughs> and wounds twice at minus one. Saves a five. And kills a knob. Kills a knob. Of course it does. <laughs> it's yeah. all Garrow. Uh, the sergeant what a, what a will, ledge. will chuck a grenade which misses. The iron hail heavy stubbers. So one's dead so far. Sixes. Rerolling ones. It hits once. And doesn't wound. The heavy bolter, because they're strength four, doesn't hit. So I've killed one. This is the Incendium Cannon from the Invictor Warsuit. 2d6 auto hits. 8 auto hits. That's 8, Paul. 8. Yeah. Strength 5. You, you could wipe the unit. You haven't wiped the unit. At minus 1, because the Tactical Doctrine is in effect. So 5. 5 up saves. 3 more wounds. Uh, so 2 and a half died. Yep. All right, and then you charge... Uh, well... You're there. It just depends. Yeah, because how, how far? Because yes, I can. Yes. I can Benny Hill. Whoa. A lot. Did you just say you could Benny Hill? Benny Hill. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that in a battle report before. That's poetry. I love it. Okay, the knobs make the charge, locking up Sol Garrow and the Invictor suit. Now we're going with Gobrots, the mech there. Declaring the same. Oh, he gets that's twelve as well. He's declaring the same targets. He ends up here after Benny Hilling his way there. Now we've got the wah banner. And that's a five. You can re-roll the two because here we... That's an eight. He's going to go a long way as well. And he gets there. Now we've got the second unit of knobs charging in. Nine. All these charges are so good. It's what orcs do though. Okay, so you lock them up entirely. Now we're across to this big mech who's declaring the aggressors who can't overwatch because they're locked up. And these guys, and the librarian, which shoots and hits and wounds. And Two. One, and 
There we, there we go. Right, let's see how far you managed to make... What the, a legend. ...the charge. What well on, Libby. Uh, nine, ten. It's going to cost him. Ten. He's coming straight at me, isn't he? He's coming straight for me. More charges happened. Meganob's into aggressors. Weird Boy into aggressors. It's basically the entire Orc army is having a scrap now, except for the bomber. So uh, after much debate, we have decided, Paul has decided... To start with this group of five knobs hitting Brother Captain Solgaro, he is aware I've got four command points in my hand and I could potentially interrupt. He's going to interrupt. I'm going to lose something tasty. Yes. I don't know. I'll have lots left. Okay. So um, you've got this big squad here. They've got plus two to hit, plus one to hit because they're next to a wow banner. Who are you starting with? There's a kill saw. There's yeah, there. it's going for kill saw. Okay. So. Really unhelpful I'm not being three on that attacks. Page. Uh, three attacks. Mm -hmm. Minus one to hit, so hit back on threes again. Yes. Hits twice. Strength eight. Uh, I've lost it, yeah. No ten. Uh, so the two doesn't count because I'm stalwart. You the are. four gets through. How good is that? I have an iron halo and I do not bend. Okay. Power claw? Power claw. Three to hit because of the wire banner. Two hits. Trap ten again. The two doesn't wound because I'm stalwart. That is so well worth having. Iron Halo. That fails. D3 damage. Three damage. It's a critical hit. You've knocked him down to his knees. He's got three wounds left. And then he drags himself back up as all the other boys with the choppers come up. Thumping in. There's no minus for these, you're not going to fail three. Two's to hit. Those two are proper cocked. They are strength five, so it's three's to wound. Uh, two two's not wounding. Stalwart! Well, it's just, it's they don't wound anyway. Because you're strength Well, no. Six is. Six wounds? Is that six wounds? Six. No, I'm only strength for, yes, yeah, so let's throw six wounds. Six, two up saves. And he, they just bounce off his armour. He's got through three wounds left. And now I'm going to spend two command points. <laughs> oh, I'm astonished. To pay to interrupt. Paying two command points to interrupt with the aggressors attacking the Gorkonaut. Spending another command point on Gene Rort might get me down to one command point left. So six is auto wound. This might be my only chance to take this thing down. Because I'm running out of big guns. No, you've got enough gun left to take it out. I reckon. They're, little, uh, they're little guns. These are big guns. I powerful. reckon this is going to cost you Garo. No, it's not. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> um, Mark I, my words. I've got many attacks because of Shock Assault, and I'm hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, because Garrow is still there. So, fours. Uh, re-rolling the ones. And the six is an auto wound with Gene Rort Might. And now I need fours to wound. I was hoping for more sixes. Fours to wound. Good luck, sir. Uh, I get three. Just three. Three minus. six ups. Minus three, they're power fists. So three six up saves. And you make one of them. 2d3 damage. It only does three damage. Just three damage off the Gorkonaut. Okay, next up, joining the melee. The nab, knob with the war banners using his power fist against Solgaro. Yep. Three's to hit. He hits twice. And two's to wound. He wounds twice. Four up, Iron Halo. Iron Halo. Command point, last one. Oh no. Oh no. The Emperor protects. I hope so. Oh no. That is Slay the Warlord. That is Kingslayer. Solgaro gets clubbed down. Well, you did war me. I'll take away his wound counter there. We're on to the next unit of knobs. We've got two kill saws and a power saw. Um, Power Claw. Two, yes, Power Claw hitting the Invictus War Suit. So the two kill saws, six attacks, hitting on threes because of the wall banner. And your strength ten and toughness six, so you're wounding on threes. Uh, and it's minus four, two damage, so I don't get a save. That's six wounds stripped off the Invictus Suit, it's got three left. And then the Power Claw lashes out, and it'll hit on threes, and it hits all three times, it'll wound on threes. It only wounds once, six up save. Oh, he makes it! But your warlord can potentially take him out. 
Yeah, I'm going to turn that into a hat. I'm going to turn an Invicta Warsuit into a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting on threes, there's that, a really cock. That is cocked. Okay, one hit. He could do it. Threes to wound. He does wound. Can I make another six? No, D3 damage. He's got three left, is it? Yes. He's got two wounds. Last command point. Really? Yeah. You really want that hat. No! <laughs> the Invicta suit's got one wound left. So that's that scrum fort. He would be dead if he hadn't killed some stuff on the way in. We're now onto the other big mech, attacking my librarian. He's hitting on threes because of the war banner. He only hits once. And uh -huh. He's wounding on a two. He does wound. Uh, I need a six. I don't get a six. D3 damage. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, He's been crushed. That's two of my characters you've taken out. And now, Gorkonaut and Meganobs versus Aggressors. Right, Gorkonaut, what are we doing? Six attacks using Crush. Not the 18 attacks? Nah, okay. Crush. Hitting on threes. Okay. Oh dear, everything hit. Strength, 16. 16? Yeah. Okay, twos to... Yeah. Uh, AP? Minus four. I don't get a save. D6 each. First one's dead. 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 All over. Which means, of course, that the uh, Mega Nobs can't fight. So they just come charging towards the closest enemy units. Now it's my turn to fight. Let's fight. The Invictus Warsuit on one wound left. Steaming, leaking oil. You took down my Warlord. I will now strike your Warlord. Bring it, Beaky! Five attacks. Because I was charged, but I'm hitting on fives. His legs, his pistons are unsteady. And he misses... With four of them, he hits once. Strength 14. He wounds. It's minus three. You need to make a five up save. Which you fail and take a flat three damage. He's still alive. And then there's a hero sergeant locked in there as well who will strike him too. On threes. <gasps> he only hits once. And he does wound, but you need a two up save. And you make that save. And that is the end of those combats. So you're deep in my lines. And that is the end of Orcs turn three. That is your entire army. It was five points each. But you have secured objective two. Six points to five. You've uh, taken out my Warlord. Slay the Warlord. Seven points to five. And you get D3 points for completing the order for Kingslayer. And it's the fat three. It was five each. Now it's 10-5. The Orcs have doubled their lead in one turn. Let's go into Space Marines, turn three. Oh, by defended six. I got Hello. six. It's 10-7 to the Space Marines. Now let's go into Space Marines, turn. Say hi, Paul. I don't know what's up with six, but uh, now I need to secure it. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll do that. You just have to stay still. Secure six, Kingslayer, and overwhelming firepower. Three points behind, and... These two units of tactical marines secure the wastelands and prepare to uh, meet the arrest of the orcs that are rampaging down towards their outpost. The, the imagine, aforementioned 30,000 orcs. Uh, they're, they're laying mines and things like that. That's what I'm thinking. That was their yeah, job, right. the drop pods. There's, uh, and teleport beacons for the rest of the first company to teleport in and landing homers for Thunderhawks and stuff like that. We're establishing the landing ground you have activated my trap card and came racing down towards your encampment and it's exactly where I want you to be. Right in my crosshairs. So I need to take objective six again. So the Invictus <laughs> Warsuit is on objective six. I've fallen out of combat with both of them. Uh, I need overwhelming firepower. Shoot something. Yep. And if I shoot your warlord, that's King Slayer and Slay the Warlord. Yeah. And the tactical marines, the melters are closest to your warlord. Yes, they are. <laughs> I definitely think you're going to race into the lead this turn. I've got an Oculus Bolt Carbine on the captain there that can target characters. And the Melters are also in range of your Gorkonaut. Yeah, yeah, seems to be me. And there's a Storm Talon as well. Don't worry, you can get away. So there's going to be lots of firepower coming in. Oh, and talk about things coming in. Jumpy dudes are here. Uh-oh. They're inside the building all along. They can't come out through the hatches, and now they're going to rain fire now, down. They've landed from their dropship. They haven't come out of the building. That no, could be so they lame. Were, they were in there securing melter charges and things like that. I imagine that bastion goes down underground. They can't get in through the hatch with their backpacks. They took them off for a bit. They just, just sort of dropped out the drop packs and then went inside. And 
Okay, they fell down from orbit. Right, psychic phase, done, because you killed my uh, librarian. So we'll go on to the shooting phase. <laughs> uh, let's slay your warlord. Oh. The Invicta will put everything into your warlord. Okay. Incending cannon, let's set him on fire for seven auto hits. I need threes to wound. I get two wounds. <laughs> three wounds. Three wounds, it's minus one though, so three, three up saves. There he goes. Oh. Okay, I obviously, there was a bit of oil leaking out of his neck armour, and he went poof. And that is Slay the Warlord, and that is Kingslayer. What was that? It feels somewhat anticlimactic. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <laughs> okay, so uh, the squad here will put um, all the bolt guns into... No, let's put them into this guy with his, uh, his big uh, teleport blaster, and the two melters are going to try and hit your Gorgonaut. So the melter combi melter hits on threes and wounds on fours. Oh, I get a wound. You don't get a save, right? Minus nah. four. Nah. D6 damage. For six. It's a critical hit. It's got eight left. Then the bolters bounced into the mega knob. Didn't damage them. Now the guy who fell back out of combat is going to fire at the... Me... Khan. He's... I was thinking guy. mega knobs. Oh, right. Okay. Mega knobs. Is there a guy there? Let's fire at the other nobles, forced to hit them. No, they, they are fell out of combat. Awfully close. Yes. So the master crafted instigator bolt carbine from my uh, second in command, the other captain, is going to fire at the wire banner. It's assault one. Well, he's, he's now uh, two to hit. He's now the field commander. The is chain it? of command has has dropped back down to him. And I wound him at minus two, flat three damage. I was too busy pontificating. Who are you shooting at? The guy with the wow banner was swinging that big sign around. Oh. Signpost. Minus how many? Two. He has six up safe. He's, uh, he loses three wounds. I think he's still alive, your field commander. Yeah, I think he's got my pardon. You said he's the field commander now. No, your guy. Oh, my guy's your the field guy. commander. Your guy. I thought your wire banner guy was the field commander, which is why... There is no one in charge of this. <laughs> this is just a scrum. Right. Um, Storm Talon? Storm Talon, everything, Gorkonaut. Uh Typhoons on threes. Two hits. And on fours. One wound at minus two. Make, fail the save. It's got eight wounds left. Minus another six. It's got two wounds left. Twin assault cannons. Threes. That's threes because of plus one for strafing run. It needs fives to wound it. I That's do. cocked, but re-roll that one. Okay. Uh, two wounds. Minus one. Two four-up saves. <gasps> the Gorkonaut's gone. Oh, my God. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Come on. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Big bada boom. Nah, no. Yeah. Bada boom. No, no, not even a little bada um boom. I shot the big stompy. Now I shoot the little stompy. Okay. Overcooking hell blasters into mega knobs. Uh, re-rolling ones because there's a captain there and I missed three times look this is strength eight I will wound you on twos and re-rolling ones because there's a lieutenant there target acquired my friend AP minus four you need sixes and every failed save is two damage and I think they start with three each and they do only kill one hmm I wanted more bang um, the lieutenant will fire his thing and he hits twice, fours. He wounds, but it's AP dash, but it does do two damage. The mastercrafted one. New, you make your save. Right, suppressors. Hmm. Yes, I guess I have to find the. Yes, yes, suppressors into. Hmm. One minute. Yes, suppressors into Mega Knobs. They're the biggest threat. Three is to hit. Re rolling ones. Three hits at strength seven. Uh, two wounds at minus two. Two, four up saves. Or three episodes, four episodes, minus two. Yeah, two damage, you say? Yes. Oh, just because one? Yes. Okay, so now it is just the jumpy dudes. Right, before we get on to the jumpy dudes, all the way over here, there's that missile launcher, and having a look, he can thread the needle, and the weird boy is the closest character, <laughs> closest model. So let's hit him with a missile launcher. I hit him, I will wound him on a two. I don't wound him. <laughs> he just blew off. Blew off somewhere. Right, jumpy dudes. What we're going to do is put two jumpy dudes into this unit of three and all the rest into the mega knobs because they're the biggest threat, I think. Okay. 
Uh, but two guys have 12 shots because it's six shots each, well, three shots each per salt bolter, and they have two. So three is to hit, and it's strength five, it's three is to wound, and they're all AP minus two because the tactical doctrine is in effect. So you need sixes. Oh, wow, I only killed two. So there's one left in that squad. Let's see how many left will be left in the Mega Knobs squad. Three is to hit. And three is to wound. And at minus two, it's a four up save, but they're three wounds each. Ooh. One, two, three, one dead. One, two, one left on one wound. Ooh. And that's the end of my turn. I am not going to charge. This is your army. You can charge me and face my overwatch. But my army is, mind you, I've got a bit you, more you, you, spread out all over the place. You have got morale to take on the nobles. Leadership seven, two in that squad died. Don't roll a six. New, and I think three mega knobs died. They did. Oh dear. Sorry, it's keeping order. So failed morale, you need a six and, no, you don't. But if you had got that six, then that last mega knob wouldn't have ran away. So it was 10 points to seven. That's the end of my turn. I get a point for that thing, yeah? Yep. And I get a point for, oh, overwhelming firepower. How many things did I shoot to death? I shot the Gorkonaut. And the Mega Knobs. No, they didn't die in the shooting phase. It was just the Gorkonaut. It did, the Mega Knobs. Oh no, you're right. They died in, they ran off in the no, morale no, you phase. Sh you shot the, my warlord to death. Yes. You know, I should have focused all my fire into one thing, because that would have been D3 things for overwhelming firepower, or things, three things with guns. But never mind. You've got a bit. You've yeah. seen the red mist. Yes. So it was ten seven, but I get a point for that objective, a point for overwhelming firepower, and a point for killing your wall or making it ten ten, and I get D three points. Kingslayer. For Kingslayer. Yeah. So ten ten plus, I get the big three as well. Thirteen points to ten in favour of the Space Marines as we go to Orcs turn four. Here are the Orc objectives: scour the skies, kill the jumpy dudes, or the flyer. Tough. Behind enemy lines, now if you have three units back there, you get D3 points, and guess what? You're deep behind enemy lines in your encampment, so that'll be D3 points. And defend objective four, that's the one that you want to pick up the loot on on the way back. Yeah, don't worry about that, we'll get on the way back. <laughs> Orc phase, here's objective four, not getting that. All the boys are going charging towards the beakies right in front of them. Except for the weird boy, he's going in the wrong direction. Where's he going? He's not going in the wrong direction. He's yeah. no longer being dragged towards all the orcs. So he's running the hell away from all the orcs. <laughs> so he doesn't die and explode. Oh, he, the... He's going to have to let the energy out before it kills him. So he's probably going to vomit it onto that flyer. Okay. Um, Speaking of flyers. D3 behind enemy lines. You've got that. And then you put your flyer across there and did your second bombing run. Because you can do two per game. And I said, we'll do it off camera because you're not going to kill them all. And uh, on a four up, you do mortal wounds to the unit that you fly over, and he killed them all. He's been a pretty successful bomber. He's a flying ace, yes. an orc flying ace. Right, on to the psychic phase. He needs to bomb up all the warp energy that he's accumulated, so you're gonna power bomb it. Power bomb it! Otherwise, AKA smite. Smite. I can't block it. D3 mortal wounds on the storm talon. Not a lot of vomit, or and... maybe a lot. <laughs> Maybe much of it missed. Now we're going to shoot some guns. Everything from the bomber onto the Storm Talon. Starting with... Scorch Missiles. Five shots. Six I'm, I'm to hit though, gutted. Right? I mean, Yeah, I'm gutted. I don't have a uh, command point left for long, uncontrolled bursts. <laughs> Great strategy. So six is to hit because I'm flying, but the six generates another hit. We roll so, the one. Yes. One hit. Okay. Strength. Five. Doesn't win. Nah. Okay. Super shooter. Super shooter. Five to hit because it's drop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nada. Oh. Big shoot as on sixes. And nada. No, no. Okay. That was quite unsuccessful. Well, I like to think he was doing a dive bomb. Yeah. yeah concentrate on the bomb. Them and all the other shots went wide. And maybe the vomit spraying all over the air in this general direction put him off as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's do all the remaining guns from here. Custom Mega Shooter from the Mega Knob into the Invictor suit. Hitting on a five. And it misses. Are you doing the teleport blaster as well? I am. Eight? Ooh, three hits and Dakers. He's got the beam turned on to max. So three hits. 
it's strength eight, it will wound on threes. It wounds once. AP minus two, did you say? I'm going to have to check. Oh, that's a failed save. I would have failed my save. The Invictus suit is dead. It has one wound left and it doesn't detonate. And all the sluggers and remaining guns fired into various units and made lots of loud banging noises but didn't kill anyone. It was good, Dacker. <laughs> then we charge. No damage done on Overwatch. No command points left to interrupt with. Now we fight. Then we did the fight phase and everything died. You've got power claws and buzz saws and all sorts of stuff. He killed everything. And the only thing you score this turn is D3 points for behind enemy lines because you're definitely up in my grill. And that's another three. So it's 13 each. It's, it's a close game. It's... I'm going to ditch secure objective four because I keep telling him we're getting that on the way out. Interesting. <laughs> you know, it's 13 each and I've got units in every single corner of the battle grid. You've got a lot of good board control. You've, you've got some effective units left. Your units are battle effective. But it's been brutal. You've torn cr the crap out of me. I've torn the You're crap out of you. You're going to delete me this turn. I need to drop the hammer. I need to end this. Okay, the orders are clear. Now hold ground. Defend two, defend one, secure three. Here we are after the Space Marines turn. I had to advance this unit out into the wastes to secure objective three over there. There's defend objective one. I'm nowhere near that, but defend objective two down here. The Hellblaster's up there, jumped down, the one that was here. I'm defending two, and now I'm bringing all of my guns to bear down on this um, remaining ragtag band. Or bad moons. Let's pull the trigger. The second in command, the captain with his Oculus Bolt carbine, will aim at the wire banner, hitting on a two. It hits. Wounding on a four. That wounds at minus two, flat three damage. Six up save, or well, the war banner buys it. The war banner buys it. Now Hellblasters into the mech, big mech, with a shock attack thing, or him. Threes to hit overcooking, obviously, and re-rolling ones. Everything hit. I'm wounding on twos, and everything wounds. You need to make six, six up saves on your big mech. Minus how many? Like, minus four. Minus four. Yes. Okay, so it's five up to cover. Oh yeah, five up. You're absolutely right. Okay, that's six damage. Mm. It, what's one minus six? My arithmetic's a bit. Lazy these days. Right, he's dead. Next up, Mastercrafted Thingy Bob from my Lieutenant into the Nobles. He hits on threes. He wounds on not that. <laughs> and then the Suppressors will fire into him, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. And they will be wounding on threes at strength seven. So that's two at minus two. And each of them does two damage, killing two of them. Leaving four knobs left, and then the jumpy dudes are going to unload. I'm going to put six shots into this guy here with one guy, and then the other 24 shots into these three remaining nobles. And they're gone, which means the Talon is out of range and can't fire anything. Typhoon missile launches 48 inch range. I'm just out to pick on the lone bomber wheeling through the mm, sky. You get the weird boy. And oh, yeah, I can shoot the weird boy. Yeah. Um, let's put Typhoon Missiles into him, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. I wound, it's minus two so you don't get a save, and it's d6. But I am in twin assault cannon range on threes, and threes to wound. And they're AP minus one, and the weird boy only has a six up save, so that kills the weird boy. And so at the end of Space Marines turn four, they get a point for securing an objective. It's 1413 to the Astartes, and they're defending one in the Orc encampment. The Astartes are one point in the lead. The Orcs have one model left, a hero bomber pilot. Let's find out what he can do in turn five. It's all very simple. Scour the skies, secure three, and no prisoners. Now, flyers cannot control the objectives, but if this hero bomber pilot takes out something with a fly keyword, with no prisoners as well, you'll get two points. The orc bomber pilot banks through the sky, wind blowing in his orky hair with a canopy down, and he looks over his right shoulder. I'm defending this objective here. 
you're going to stitch murder at that one, or you're going to go through the suppressors, which is Scout Skies and No Prisoners. It's Scout Skies and No Prisoners, but they're getting the extra save because they're entirely on that terrain piece, whereas someone stuck his boot on the floor to control that objective, yes. which means they aren't getting the extra point of save. Correct. I also have a gun that is out of range of all of them, so the Scorcher missiles are just going to go into these out of, over here for a laugh. Let's do that then. Scorcher starting off with... T6. Two. Two. Uh, one, one hit. Re rolling that yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. bad move. Two hits. Oh, yeah. And two, two wounds. wounds. Minus one in North Cover. Oh. Mm -hmm. I duck and cover from it, though. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. And then the guns are going to come across into the Hellblasters. Okay, fours for Super Shooter. Yes. That's uh, good. And one Dacker. Okay, three Which hits. Fours for Super oh, Shooter. Oh, yeah, fours. It's the Grot. Yeah, the grot. Yeah, the grot. Course, yeah. Strength six. Right. So wounding on threes. Oh, oh there wins. goes the game. <laughs> Minus one. Minus one. You kill you kill one. Any more shots? Yes, two big shooters. Two big shooters. Uh, oh, this was the turn for a... I needed a good turn of fire. So I'll take that guy away. And that's the end of your turn. That's the end of my turn. And you don't... And I defend that objective. So now it's three points in the lead. And you don't get scale of the skies, no prisoners, and you can't score an objective. Let's find out what the space moves do in turn five. So it's 16.13, I got rid of that objective last turn. Witch Hunter, I can't get that one because all the witches are dead. Honor the Chapter, I can't get that because there's no characters left, just a flyer. Hold the line though, I'll get that one for just holding the line. Right, I'm holding the line with these units down here, the Storm Talon banking round. And uh, now I'm going to fire Suppressors, Hellblasters, Storm Talon, and this Squad of Space Marines, everything up at this flyer. Then I fired everything at the flyer, and it is hard to hit, and when the smoke clears, it's got three wounds left. And I hold the line, making it 17-13. And the player who went first rolls the dice, and that was you. On one, two, the game ends. No! Ah! Do you want to go to turn six? Of course. You're four points behind. Don't care! Orcs turn six, got rid of secure objective three. Still got scale the skies, no prisoners, and uh, this one you cannot score because you've just got a bomber. So the bomber needs to kill something with a fly keyword. And so the orc bomber pilot dodging through enemy fire, his thing hanging together with only three wounds left, rattling bits falling off of him. He should egress out of this battlefield. He should fly back towards the orc lines, but no, he has a mission. And he has ammo left in his guns. <laughs> He's going to aim down at these units here. So what are we doing? There's a Hellblaster. A Hellblaster left. Oh yeah. One of them died because I overcooked when I was shooting up at your flyer last turn. <laughs> okay. Scorching missile. His backside. Okay. D6 shots. Three shots. For three. I'm hitting on sixes now. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Two daggers. Three daggers. Ha ha. Winning on threes ignores cover. Minus one. Okay. Fours. He's alive and ah. one wound left. Okay. And then all the other shots into the suppressors, was it? Or what was the plan? Uh, yeah, all the other shots into the suppressors. The super gun thing is yeah. going to hit on five. It's still a grotz. Okay. With a dacker. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, strength six. They're all wounds. But minus one. So no, no, minus one, no cover, or just minus no, just one. Just minus one for super shooter. So threes. Uh, they're in cover. So there is a suppressor on one wound left. Right. Twin big shooters. Yes. Have you got sixes? One hit and a daka daka. Oh, and a reroll for one. Okay, and a daka. And a daka. Okay. Winning on a five. Yes. It wounds. Sorry, wounding off three even. Yes, three. Two so up save. One of these died, and then that guy's on one wound. So two up save. This is for scout skies. Yes. And no and, I, and I'm not at any point regretting the fact that I fired the missile at the Primaris thing and got one wound on him. <laughs> yes! What a hero. I did strong of the chapter. Witch Hunter I can't do. Lightning Strike I can't do. No prisoners. Let's take no prisoners. Let's kill that bomber. Out in the wastes, these guys stay still, continuing to plant mines and plant teleport beacons. Over here, the jumpy dudes 
jump down from the Orc Bastion. The Storm Talons is in VTOL mode. He switched last turn. He will fly fire up at this flyer. Two Typhoon missile launchers hitting on fours because you're hard to hit. And I'm not re-rolling ones because for some reason I'm moving myself too far away from my captain. Wounding on a three. That's really cocked. It wounds. Minus two. Six up save to keep your bomber alive, sir. Good luck. Nada. D6 damage. Three remaining. Oh, it's not a critical hit. Let's do the assault cannon. Force to wound at minus one. Five saves of five up, two wounds left. And it flies through a hail of explosive rounds and gets taken from the sky. Ace pilot versus ace pilot. It blows up. Speaking of explosions. Yes. It's a massive flying incendiary bomb. Is it? <laughs> On four up. Yes. Oh, oh. No. No. Denied! Yeah! Three mortal wounds! And uh, that's the last flyer gone. That's another point. That's the end of the orcs on this battle grid. And this is the way the world ends. And so it is a victory for the Space Marines of the 13th. We've cleared out this encampment and the bad moons have come here and we've cleansed and captured it. And we've, uh, we've cleansed, we have captured. Thank you so much, Paul. How did you find that victory? Temporary. What? There's a lot of other orcs over that way. Oh yes. <laughs> There's a hundred thousand more orcs. Yeah, it's raging. a whole planet. Okay. But I I definitely with hindsight. Yes. I definitely think I made a fatal error in not targeting the aggressors with the big guns of the stomper. When he came in and yeah. shot the when iron I shot the ironclad, I should have disregarded the ironclad and taken out the aggressors. The the stratagems that you're able to use. Yes. The you know auto wounding, the re-rolling, all the buffs from the different characters that you can bring into bear. It's nice, isn't it? It, it was effective. It was very, very effective, and it was very thematic. It was sort of really right. You five guys have got to get the business done here. This yeah. is what you're here for. This is what you're bred for. I never expected them to be able to take those last eighteen wounds or however many wounds it was off the stomper. I thought it would get down to two, three, six wounds left or something. As soon as I thought then, it might be able to take it out without you even shooting anything off it. And then you'd stomp all over them and kill the remaining aggressors. And then I'd have a few wounds left to take off of it next turn. That's the, what I was thinking. As soon as I realised I'd left them and they were in charge range and how many flamer attacks you were gonna get, I realised I'd really messed that up. Mm. Maybe. But I would have put transhuman physiology on the aggressors if you just shot them with that big strength tank. Yeah, but I'd have still taken a big chunk out of the unit. I'd have taken a big chunk out of the unit and not... And I still had the stomper left. It yeah. wouldn't have been yeah. great, but it still would have been there. Yeah. And the difference hitting on fives and sixes, because orcs never hit on, few, on lower than fives, uh, yeah. lower than sixes. It was glorious, though. Watching him oh, come smashing great. in and then watching me trying to push you back. It went one way, it went the other way. I think at the end of one turn, I thought, oh, it's all over for me. And then at the end of your turn, you thought, oh, it's all over for you. And then it, it, it that was bloody. It gloriously seesawed. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to the previous game we were referring to. That gloriously seesawed, except we both had a few assets left at the end. I think you had slightly fewer and I had slightly more. Yeah. And we were scrabbling with a few models here or there. Yeah. Um, Interesting. I, I also love the way you built your army around the Primaris um, element that was on planet achieving its mission. Yeah. And then when circumstances changed, bang, they called in reinforcements. Yeah, and I, I thought that was and the flyers and... glorious. Well, also, I, I thought your army was really good as well. I know. Yeah, your army. No, 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 no. You had six drops. I know. With a stomper. What, do you know something? There's no looters and mech guns and none of that stuff. It was like, at me, here, turn one. It was like, whoa. Well, part of it was yes. I wanted to make sure the stomper didn't get killed before I got to fire it. Ah. Which a little bit like happened with the death of Hope and the Garmic incident. Ah, yes. Um, and so I thought, right, I'm going to run it forward. I'm going to dack a dack a dack it on turn one. Then I'm happy. Yeah, you got to do it twice. So I wanted to I wanted to do as few drops as possible. And yeah. then I sort of started thinking, okay, well, maybe I'm racing out to you. Cause the first cut of my list, because I, I go through the list a lot, yeah. not because I'm optimising um, stats, I'm optimising the narrative. Yeah. First cut, I had some mech guns and I had some boys, and I thought, no, 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 that doesn't work. And I thought, actually, how many boys can I get in a battle wagon? Right, battle wagon. <laughs> Split the unit of 20, it's two units of 10. Yeah. Drop the uh, drop the grots, drop the mech guns. What have I got that's 136 points? 
Burn a bomber, boom, in. Nice. Sorted. You let the narrative teach you what list you want to bring, and that, that's why we love you, Paul. That's how I always do my list. I, I always think about the narrative. Lovely. That's why sometimes you say, can we have an ordinary game this time, please? And I say, yeah, yeah, I'll do a small list. And I'm like, I've worked it out, mate. It's 4K. <laughs> can you not drop something out of it? Nah, not, not a point. Behind the scenes chat. Last time you came down, we said next time, because we always do these big ones. Or thematic, next time, we just bring 1750 or 2000 point list. Or, uh, but this time, 3000 points in the stomper. Well, I, I have to say, I you was... You can't keep it in the bottle, can you? Can't I, keep the genie in the bottle. I would definitely <laughs> use the stomper, because it was a present, and I just painted it, and I really, really, really wanted to use it. And it was glorious, it was smashing its way through and destroying stuff, and I loved it. And I, I really like that you took it out with the counterpoint as well. It was... I mean, Tactically, I should have. Uh, it, it's interesting when you talk about tactics. Yes. And this is something I meant to mention to you earlier, um, but um, when we were chatting off camera. Yes. The, the difference between the tactics around how we play the rules of the game. Yes. That's one type of tactic. You know, uh, connecting to units to stop them from firing and having your characters within range and, and daisy chaining back so you get auras and so on. Yeah. That's one element of tactics. Making sure your the, buffs and auras are in place. Yes, yes, that's the game tactics. Yes. That's the game play tactics. Yes. But the actual army tactics, now they're a thing too. Right, yeah, I get what you mean. Because addition so, by addition, the gameplay rules change. But your, your but army tactics almost never do. Yeah. My army tactics were, okay, it's partly to do with the list, but also partly how I played it. Just throw everything forward, shoot your guns, get out. Clobber them, see what happens. <laughs> now, that's a very orc tactic, but when I'm playing a different faction, I work entirely differently. The I, with the I know you said you wanted to do this quickly, but I'm on a roll now. My <laughs> iron hands, yes. My uh, clan cargo from reading the background. I think we did, we did one on YouTube a little while ago. I think it's about eight months now. Actually, a little while ago, um, and I said oh, I haven't read much of the narrative. I'm not entirely sure how I should be playing them. But then I went back and read it afterwards. And if Clan Cargo get close enough to see the whites of their enemies' eyes, i.e. they fight them in combat, they think their plan has failed. Because their plan should destroy their opponent utterly from range. Nice. So that's how I build my lists. And in fact, in many ways, whilst the Orcs always win because they've had a fight, yes. my Iron Hand, Clan Cargo, they've always lost if they're having a fight. Well, the, the Orcs love a big Barney, and I think it was in turn three where everything except the bomber was having a lovely great scrap. So uh, that's Orc Paradise right there. Yeah. Snapshot of Orc Heaven happened here. <laughs> and you had a couple of units I haven't really touched. Jumpy Dudes and the Flyer. Yeah. But everything else is had a pretty, pretty mauling. They're pretty normally pretty my mauled. break glass in case of an emergency unit then. Mm. They are pretty good. They did work for you. They are pretty good. Because they can come in anywhere and they're toughness five with many wounds. But, uh, to be fair, all the stuff I had left though, I was going to really struggle to get to your other characters and the things that could just fly off. Yeah. At that point, I was just the fish in the barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> orc in a barrel. Yeah. I wouldn't want to put an orc in a barrel. It would make <laughs> it very angry. Right, we'll wrap up here. Thank you so much for coming down. Say hi, Paul. Thank I, you for having me, It's uh, absolutely glorious fun one more time. This battle map is from urbanmats.com. This scenery is from cromlec.eu. You can get the dice and the objective markers and things like that on the deploymentzone.tv merchandise page. And if you'd like to support us, uh, help us make more battle reports like this, then please consider subscribing to DUZ TV. Anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming.